Now don't you act so coy Let us go and fill all the little children's hearts with joy Rudolph, my dear
Oh, bu 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 bu. What's up, everybody? Good morning. How are we doing? Or afternoon? It's definitely afternoon for some of you, isn't it? Uh, but anyways, good morning. How are we doing? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Micah, how are we doing? Heather G in the building. <laughs> Cebris coming in hot this morning. Or I think it was last night that you shared those pictures on Discord. But coming in hot with an awesome looking... I think it was Otter Habitat. I really like the indoor habitat you had going on there. Michael Peterson. How's it going, buddy? Good to see ya. Well, how are we doing today, everyone? Good to see everybody. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. We'll be jumping into some aqua, aqua park. Doing some more aqua park today. Today's a fun day in aqua park because we're starting a new habitat. We're starting a new habitat. So yeah, uh, yesterday we went ahead and kind of finished up. So here's the thing, like what I'm doing on stream is like the general idea. Basically, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but like sometimes you'll, you'll maybe come in here and see some extra stuff done. Like over here, I've started to kind of off stream make up the general, I don't know what you want to call it, but area for the seating area, you know, kind of doing up the details and stuff. And I'll do that after stream or like before stream. I'll kind of come in and do a few little detail, a little bit of detail work. Hey, the imposter, how's it going, buddy? So yeah, on stream, um, what you see on stream and then like the final videos or whatever, it might be a little bit different just because I come in and do a little bit of detail work. Because believe it or not, it's hard to do, I think SDN mentioned it last night too, it's kind of hard to do detailing and get into the zone without like not talking basically. <laughs> which is not a great way to, oh I do have a little two meter path right there, uh, which is not a great way to stream. I don't know if you knew that, but sitting in silence while trying to stream is not the best way to entertain your viewers. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, it was, yeah, it's really good, Zebras. I really like the interior. I think a lot of it is, like, the way that you have the windows set up. So, like, the, the way the lighting comes in and, like, hits the habitat just right. It was real. like, the lighting was really good with it. So, um, but cool, 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 cool. So, we're going to be doing penguins today. Yes, yes, we're going to be doing, over in this plot that I've kind of sanctioned off, which is really, really big, we're not going to use all of it, we're going to do a penguin habitat over here. And we're going to do an outdoor kind of penguin habitat. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, just basically an outdoor one there. So, um, thanks for the likes on Twitter, you Twitter people, you. You people who Twitter, you. So let's go ahead and start to first make up where it's going to be. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a, I kind of thought this through beforehand, kinda. Yes, okay, good, I'm gl glad I Sam brought that up on Twitter. Um, later on, by the way, we're gonna have a special guest appearance by none other than the head nerd himself. The lead dork in charge, Mr. Estan Wolf is gonna be joining us later. Somehow, some way, they're letting him out of work early today, so he's gonna be, um, He's going to be starting to stream up like right after mine, basically. Like pretty much he's going to jump on with us, hang out for a little bit, be a dweeb, and then uh, and then he's gonna, we're going to shoot over and hang out with him afterwards. Because uh, right when I get, get about time, bit, 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 cut, 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 cut. Compose yourself, ready, take two, and action. We're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, because uh, I'm ending right when he starts up there. So, uh, we'll just go hang out with him. That sounds like a good time, right? A little bit of, a little bit of hanging out with S. Dan on stream and then going over and hanging out with S. Dan. Oh, he's in Bold Zoo, remember last night? He's in, uh, he was in Bold Zoo. Um, I haven't been around the stream as much, how dare you, as I'd like to, but today I'm offline for a day for working, so I'll just be hanging out. Good! Okay, good. Take two sounds familiar? Yeah, it does. Hey, speaking of... Have y'all heard about this podcast that me and Estan do called Take Two Podcast? <laughs> we had a really good episode. We've had like, uh, I mean, all of the episodes have been really, really good. But I really like that we've both have uh, been into this new format of content creator like Spotlight or, you know, the kind of content creator thing that we're doing. Interviews. Kind of learning how to do interviews better and better, I feel like, every single time. I've been starting to watch a lot more like podcasts, people too, like really big, oopsie, like really big po uh, podcasts and stuff like that. I've been trying to listen to more of them so I can get like better at interviewing. So 
Uh, take two was good last night. Seen, yeah, hey, what's up, Leaf? Uh, it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed last night's take two, and that's that's good because I mean, yeah, you're all y'all are the ones that <laughs> we need to make content for, right? So as long as you're enjoying what we're doing, that's 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 what's up. And yeah, any way that we can improve, because I mean, like. We're not like taking it like super super seriously, but we do feel like we're hitting a niche within the community. Um, so yeah, we would like to build this up as much as we could, you know, whatever that means. We don't know what that means, <laughs> but we are open, I guess is the word to say, because uh, yeah, open to building up the community that we're kind of forming here with Take Two and just everything kind of going on. Do do do. Heather's name is looking extra special today. Green name. Yeah, she became part of the green team uh, yesterday. It's saying how Lego uh, Jesse has created new animals. Oh, yeah, that's what, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't even know half that stuff I didn't even know about last night, to be honest with you. Um, actually, no, we're not going to bring it over there. We're not going to bring it over there. This is pretty good. Um, yeah, no, most of that stuff that you that like we were asking about and finding out last night, that was the first time I had heard about that stuff, too. I knew very, very little about the modding community overall. And, um, I mean, I was definitely part of the, uh, no, that's, that's, that should be fine. So we're gonna put the thing here. Um, I was on, I was kind of on the team of, I had always heard it was, you know, super negative in Frontier's eyes and, you know, all that, um, all that kind of stuff that went with it. And I didn't know how easy it was to, like, install the mods and stuff. It's really easy, by the way. Like, um, I mean, he did a really good job of explaining it last night, but like, I just want to reiterate, like, it's really easy to install mods. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of uh, really good, useful information last night. No doubt. No diggity. I'm going to back it up. Speaking of good stuff, total tangent off of Take Two Podcasts and Leaf's here. Y'all, Leaf has a YouTube channel and he makes really good content. So you should like, go check him out. He started a new, uh, new zoo, the zoo that you've been uh, sharing I think on the uh, Discord a little bit. Finally got a video up for that. That was really, really nice to look at and watch. So, um, yeah, I I had a really... Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to raise this up by a little bit so they can look in a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, no, really, really good kind of under-the-radar channel there. If you all are looking for some new plans, the content bar, you need to check out Leif, dude. Because he totally doesn't talk like this the whole time. So, you know, he's a good content creator. <laughs> there we go micah has a channel too bam i didn't see your channel pop up micah you gotta you gotta advertise yourself i've said this many times you can be the best content creator in the world but if you don't tell anyone about your stuff then no one knows you exist <gasps> oh philosophical i know So yeah, I, I found who did I, I was hanging out with Toves yesterday because he tweeted on Twitter, um, and I hung out with um, oh I can't remember her name but she's a great content creator on Twitch too, um, but a few people I've been stopping in on their streams and stuff like that um, these past few days before uh, before I stream and stuff actually no we want it that big so um, yeah if you uh, if you if you promote. On my Discord or Twitter and stuff like that, I will I will try my best or try try to go to a lot of different streams and hang out with people. You know, cause the community is so just gosh darn cute there. I tell ya, it's just a bunch of cooties around there, bunch of cool people hanging out there. I don't know why you gotta say it like that, but you do. And just I suspected this is way too big of an area. We're gonna cut down that a lot. William Holmes. <laughs> uh. Um, let's not start sharing a bunch of links to different YouTube channels in the chat. If we want to share YouTube links, you can go and do it on your Twitter or on the Discord there. But not, let's not fill up the chat with a bunch of YouTube links there. Like, I'm glad everyone has a YouTube channel, but uh. Go about it the correct way on Twitter, Discords, you know, natural growth. What up, 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 up. I enjoy all the uh, content everywhere. I know, right? There's so much. So what's up, Crux? What's up, Crux? Trying to hang out, but satellite internet. You have satellite internet? Oh my gosh. Pouring um, rain here in uh, North, Carol North Carolina. Dang. We just snowed here not too long ago. And I was like, ah snow it's that time of year i guess it could be a little bit like that 
We have like stupid snow though. Like we don't have good snow. We have like slushy dumb snow that's not pretty and it's are we gonna be able to get an underwater viewing area hmm maybe maybe we can sneak him down here because i'm thinking that this is going to be the main you know i don't think we are and that's okay that's okay we're in the discord should you put the channel the section near the bottom that says promote or advertise yourself and YouTube videos. We have an entire section for promoting yourself. Because I'm all for it. What if we... Oh, God, Savannah's here. Everyone run. Everyone run. It's Mama Savannah. Not really. Not really. <laughs> oh, okay, so you know what? We'll do it the opposite way. We'll have the water right up here. Well, the water all through this area right here. This is really big, isn't it? Like, I feel like I'm making this ginormous. But you know what? Penguins deserve it. Uh, enjoy the podcast last night. Um, great bedtime. Yeah, great bedtime stories. There you go. Hey, Zeke. What's up, buddy? We got the whole crew here, don't we? We'll bring the path down here. We will bring the path down to here, and everyone can look at the penguins doing penguin things down here. Ba -da 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 -da. Do 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 do. You in Raleigh? I'd love to visit Raleigh. Cause history, cause history, cause history is great. All right, let's see here. Do do do. What's up, Primal? What's up, Primal? How you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Let's start some barriers off here. We're gonna use the new the new barriers, the new glass with thick boy concrete in it. This is ginormous. Right there. Right there, right there. And then move this guy right there. And this this guy right here, right there. Nice. Ah, oh, one of three exams down. Oh man, two to go. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. You're in the home stretch now, right? That's how I always looked at it. Like if I had big exams or anything coming up, I should be like, all right, if I have five finals this week, instead of looking at it like Oh man, I have four more to go, or I have three more to go. It's no, I got one down, only four more to go. Two down, only three more to go. <laughs> Look at it like a victory instead of a oh. Two of six is two down, four to go. That's all you got left. <laughs> you gotta look at it like that, or else you're gonna go drive yourself nuts. At least for me, it would, because if I just had, to, if it was like an uphill battle type thing, I just I would go crazy. I always have to look at it as like, all right, we're accomplishing as we're going. <laughs> you're 34 degrees so we're on the teetering side of rain so oh, that's see that's what we just had we had rain snow otherwise known as bullshit and um are we gonna be able to slope this oh you know what we can do no i'm just gonna do it like this the old-fashioned way the old-fashioned way of sloping things back in my day we didn't have a terrain stamp tool so we just sloped it by hand <laughs> uh right megan b yeah that's why i just i just straight up call it it's like it's the worst weather i mean hot is the worst actually i, I take that back humid hot is the worst because heat can kind of go just to hell what yes but um slush snow is a close second too slippery yeah it's too slippery and like then it starts to mix with like the salt and stuff like that and you just get this gross, like, brown, gray <laughs> on the ground. And everyone's covered in salt all the time and mud. It's just the worst. It's the worst. Now compare that to, like, a white, fluffy snow that kind of gets controlled easily. It's just, man. I try, yeah, I used to walk into school and that's why I hated so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why I'm so adamant right now about how crappy it is. Coming into school with your boots or shoes or whatever filled with just like giant ice chunks. Or you hope it's ice. Sometimes it would be a rock. This is really far away is the only thing. That's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. Oh, come on. Be cool. Be cool. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool, everyone. We have an uncool alert. We have an uncool alert. We have an L7 weenie alert. I just realized I didn't, I totally didn't like do a good grid with that. There we go. Okay, I got a We got a grid! It looks a little weird, but we, we have a grid. Houston, we have a grid. Bam! It's nice and sunny here today, kind of cold. Yeah, but you're, just shut up, California. Just shut it. If you're west of the Rockies, don't talk, okay? Well, I guess, I guess, like, Seattle and, like, Portland and stuff gets super duper crap. But, but Savannah specifically, shush, shush your mouth. You shush your mouth, Savannah. <laughs> uh, you don't like nice weather in Cal I'll trade you. I will trade you. <laughs> you. You endure cloudy, miserable 30 to 34 degrees until March and then get back to me about how bad California weather is. <laughs> this is what you start to, you ever heard about seasonal depression? This is what, this is the time of year that seasonal depression comes in for people in the Midwest because we can't go outside for five months because the weather will try and kill us. Pretty soon the wind is going to be so bad that our faces will just die. <laughs> So we just can't go outside for like four or five months and everything is terrible. <laughs> That's why Christmas is such a big deal in the Midwest. Because we were like, oh, it's, it's, everything's fine and we're celebrating. And then Christmas and New Year ends. And then we're just like, oh, shit, we got to do this for like three more months. And there's nothing to celebrate in between that time. Crap. <laughs> like, now what? <laughs> you, you just grit and bear it and endure it. To the beach later today, actually, but seven degrees is a bit. Too yes, just, just. Heather, can you can you ban, ban ban her, ban her now, to don't actually ban her. <laughs> um, at Chick Fil A after school, there was a homeless man sitting in slushy snow in the cold. Um, we got him a chill. Oh, that's nice of you. That's nice at least. Yeah, I can't imagine this time of year being, the homeless. That just wouldn't... I don't I don't know. That's no. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> That's my reaction to that. No, yeah. What? I didn't do it, Heather. No, don't do it. You have snowball fights on Valentine's Day? That sounds like the perfect thing to do on Valentine's Day, actually. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> you fucker. Fucker. <laughs> Oh, remember yesterday we were talking about going outside and screaming at least once a year? We should do it during the winter time. So people that have people that have um, snow, they can they can whip snowballs at each other. I love you. <laughs> oh man, I can't get it any any closer. All right, let's get rid of this. That back it up. Back 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 it up. What? Go there, then give me the concrete fencing, please. Bangarang. Shut it, California. That's right. Put it on a bumper sticker. You can deal with the cold, but um, the heat is what's so terrible. See, Seabers, I agree. He is the worst. That's what I was... Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. He, like... Is bad. <laughs> if, 
And uh, because it is, I like naturally, nat naturally, there it is. Just had to like make my mouth like an O. Um, I naturally have like a body temperature of at least, I don't know, like 150 degrees all the time. Like, so anything above 100 degrees and I'm just like, I melt. Um, how big is this? Is this actually small? I'm actually need to make this bigger, which is totally fine. I have it ready to make bigger. But yeah, like my wife always says like that she doesn't even need a blanket at night sometimes because I'm just like naturally a furnace. So just hot weather is terrible. Okay, I think this is more than big enough. All right, let's deal with water, everyone. How's that sound? Water. We. Oh, I didn't do what I, I kind of did what I wanted to. You know what? I kind of did what I wanted it to do. We're going to try something real quick, though. Maybe just need to uh, make this go. Skirt. It is. That's all I had to do. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious me. We're just le I learned how to play the game in the last week. A thousand, eleven hundred hours in, and I learned how to play the game, everyone. I think we're there. <sighs> this is very jazzy old anxiety. Yeah, it was. It was. It toughens you up. Exactly, Megan B. Yeah, it does. You're not lying. You're a human heater. Yeah, I don't. I just retain heat. I just. I don't know what it is, but I retain a hell. Like, all my heat just stays in. My dad used to say it's because I have a big head. Because, like, you know, all your heat, like, escapes through your head or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Water hoping for the best. It works. It's you're hoping it worked. <laughs> yeah, we got water working. I know. Look at look at us. Look at us, everyone. We're gonna become a Planet Zoo like stream one of these days. All right. So we have that. We have that. We are gonna back this up just a little bit so that the uh, yeah no no we are we're gonna back up a little bit. Um, but yeah no my dad always say I I was big head because I trapped in so much heat. We need to make this uh, concrete over here as well. Hi, Murphy. What's up, buddy? What's the 411 in Doggy? Uh huh? How's the couch? How's the couch? You gonna go back to the couch and lay down? I know, it's a lazy day. Tomorrow we go to the places that I can't say because you've memorized what they are and get excited when I say P A R K or C A S E Y because that's your buddy, isn't it? He's That's your buddy. We're not going to see your buddy today. Uh, penguins! We're gonna do penguins. We're gonna put the otters over in like the more kind of, I guess, South American section or whatever. You know, more jungly kind of area. You know what the thing is though, Heather, is that he's got. We've had to spell so much. I think he like is starting to get wise to our spelling. <laughs> I, I really do, because he'll kind of, like just now he looked at me when I was spelling out C A S C Y, <laughs> and he's like, Who? I was like, No, don't, don't. Do that. You're not learning how to spell. Okay? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want this all to be the same height. Well, it's okay. There's gonna be rocks in front of this, anyways. Actually, it's fine. Um, I can't get water bay for me. Maybe my luck will change after this. Let's hope. I hope so. Uh, learn that you don't actually lose more heat through your head. Really? Um, that was based on a really poorly done study in the '50s. A lot of them are. Uh, you lose the same amount from your head as any other part. That's interesting. That's interesting. Now I can now I can go tell my dad to stuff it. Thanks. I'll tell him that Megan B gave me information on the internets that I could say, "Hey, Dad, stuff it." So it's almost directly from you. <laughs> My dad's the kind of guy that once he knows something, he knows it, okay? And <laughs> he's he's not one to easily take new information. <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. Things that were true in the 80s, still true today. Still true today. Okay, yeah, you're right, Dad. All right. <laughs> Nothing changes. Whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> so this is where our backstage building area is going to be there. Got these little bumps right in the middle where the paths are where they're going to enter in. Ah. <sighs> 
All right, so we'll do that and cool, 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 cool. Coming together. Actually, no, bring it over this way. How about I go? Oh, that's a slope. Oh, God, that's a slope. Okay, let's... <laughs> Staff areas, I don't care as much, but that, that that's a hook and slope there, guy. That's a hook and slope. All right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> there we go. We also learned in school that um, different parts of your tongue taste different flavors. That's not true either. That's not true either? What else did I get lied to about? <laughs> Megan, just, just burst my bubble today. Tell me what else I was lied to as a kid. I'm having an existential crisis. I uh, burst my wife's bubble um, when I told her about how... Um, uh, Greenland and Iceland, their actual sizes and stuff like that. Because she had always only seen one type of map growing up. So she had no idea that, like, it wasn't that at all, basically. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? We'll make these concrete. Hold on. And we'll put the new, um, yes, on them. The new uh, murals. Morals. Mm, actually, the whole thing doesn't need to be a building. That would be a really big building for some penguins. Or not, 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 not necessarily. What am I talking about? We can use some of it for the wall, and then like right about there will be the the structure. Is it eight? Okay. Do, 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 lag? Let's see. Um, I, I uh oh. Why? Is it uh oh? Oh god. A little bit of lag, okay. YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. We'll do it better! YouTube? It's fine now? Okay, well. Well, hopefully it fixes itself. As long as it fixes itself. Your stream quality is good. I think it was just a hiccup on YouTube's end. It's good now. Yeah, I think it was just a quick YouTube hiccup because my uh, streaming stuff is is okay. It says all good. I wasn't YouTube down for some people the other day. I think I woke up and saw like all of like like all European friends didn't have YouTube there for like a few like a like an hour or something like that. So it must have been when uh, most of us Americans were sleeping. Oh, Google was down. Not just, oh, whoops. That's, that's, I mean, YouTube is ginormous to be down, but for Google to be down? Whoa-oh. You were making lunch for school, listening to music, and then it just stopped? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's no good. That's, that's not good. That's a uh, whoopsies. 
Someone unplug Google? It's okay. They only lost a few billion dollars during that time. They can afford it. It's Trump change. YouTube went down in 2017. It was wild. First time it was it majorly went down. At least I, that I remember. I think I remember that too. Actually, I feel as though I remember something very similar to like yeah, people are freaking out for like a day or half a day or something like that. Went down for the last month for three hours, and I was like, hold up, this could happen? See, I don't remember that either. I'm just, I just must be sleeping during all this time. Which is... That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. At least I'm not uploading a video or anything during that time. These penguins are going to need to be kept cool. You have to give them some big, hard, or heavy-duty AC units there. Not, yeah, when you're sleeping, exactly. Yep. Yeah. I like sleeping. Christ and Insomniac, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I still, uh, yeah, sleep's my favorite. Do, 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 do. Hey, first final Savannah. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. No, just just good luck. I know it's not fun. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, a, it's a final. You're stressed out. Yeah, be smart, Savannah. Jeez. Go go prove to everyone that you're smart, smart pants, okay? <laughs> See, Mom, I told you! I'll bang if you guys are still here after. Sounds good, Savannah. We'll talk at you later, okay? Uh, between Estee and myself, one of us will be live today for you. For sure. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. I just realized I was, like, yelling at the mic as if she's, like, actually, like, heading out the door. Like, okay, bye. Have a good day. Like... <laughs> Oh, this is Domez. This is a Domez set right here. Yeah, the actual set there is called... If you... Yeah, go on Mr. Domez's uh, page and just download, like, all of his stuff. This is a rooftop air conditioned set. Uh, yeah, Domez just makes all of the... You know, the Angry Archer. This set. Oh, so many good realistic things. The, uh, a lot of... The, uh, gift shop things that you saw. Uh, that when it first came out with the, um... I'm trying to think. I'm stumbling on my words. Let's see. What is it? The uh, magazine rack, I think. Oh, shoot. What was it called? Was it rack? No. Gift. Anyways, he has a lot of really good stuff up there. He has a lot of really good stuff. <laughs> is what I was getting at. Anywho. Decorate my building with those, but I have no idea where... Um, the typical use for AC units? Me neither. But you know what does? Google Maps. Google heckin' Maps, my friend. I hope that didn't sound condescending, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, no, Google Maps is 100% where everything is... is uh, all inspiration is, is found, basically. Basically. 
And I mean, I'll like literally just look up like, it doesn't even have to be a zoo. I'll just look up a random warehouse building that I know about in my town. Or, you know, just like go into some big city that I know I, that there's a certain style that I want to do. Like New York or Houston or something like that. And I'll just literally just go into their industrial area of the town and I look at different buildings on Google Maps and be like, oh, that's a neat one. Let's bring that into the zoo. Do, do, do. What's up, Sylvan? How we doing today? How is your wed nest day? <clears throat> is this gonna be an indoor area since they need the cold? It's uh. We're going to, like, fake it, basically. I'm not going to make a full-on indoor area. But we're, like, I'm doing this because of that reason that I know that they would need, um, you know, some heavy-duty AC units. But, no, we're not doing an indoor thing. I already did my indoor penguin habitat. I'm kind of like that with my builds. Like, not 100% of the time, but once I, like, do a type of build, whether it be with, like, a coaster or animal or whatever. Whoopsies. I'm kind of like good like I, I did it so like the I already did the indoor penguin habitat so I kind of feel like okay I did it I'm good so now we're doing like more of a outdoor focused one uh, I don't even know what day it is I know I have to check my little thing there all, all the time hey um Hey, Manu Bird, we're building a uh, p penguin habitat. The very start of one. I'm just kind of dinking around with some infrastructure work right now. But yeah, you have come in um, right at the right time for the start of a penguin habitat today. So, what's up, Earl? More like the CAA. Yeah, it's the CAA coming to get you, buddy. That's right. <laughs> you said too much. It's time. You got time to time to hide. It's time to go. Oops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Earl said too much. <laughs> you didn't plan out your zoo's layout? Me neither. I'm all about organic. I'm then just uh, I'm just separating it by uh, northern and southern hemisphere sections. <laughs> yeah, that works. Hello! You don't know me, but I know you? Yeah, I do. I bet I do. Aren't you friends with, like, Mike and John and all them? Right? Right? See, I know things. I know things. <laughs> Door. Doors are good. Oh my goodness, it's it's uh, it's Domez, everybody. Speaking of the devil, Domez, you should have a few more downloads on your rooftop AC set there because people saw it and were like, hey, I dig that. I'm not doing an interior. I'm not doing it. Just just go away, everyone. I'm not doing it. <laughs> the hour long Google head? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yep, we were just talking about you. Um, all right, I think that's, uh, th that's good. Are you appalled at that, Domez? Are you just like, oh, okay, fine. I guess, if people have to, jeez. <laughs> he just came in, we just bombarded him, like, hey, Domez, we're downloading your stuff! <laughs> well, you have some of the most, you I can't, Hitting that control D. You have some of the most useful stuff on the workshop, man. And I use that word a lot when it comes to builds that I like. Useful. I like useful. Like, pretty things are cool. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. If it can be a useful build. Heck, yeah, man, Majama. Creative Games is really good at that. Domez is really good at that. Um, Savannah also does, like, some really good signs that are, like, really useful. And, like, education sets. That are really uh, useful for that. There's a lot. I know I'm leaving out a lot of people, but there's just a lot of there's some like really good creators who are good at making like really pretty looking or you know kind of janky looking, but also good. Um, but useful things that you can plop around your zoo everywhere. They're not uh, 
they're not niche, right? I mean, they I don't know how to explain it. They are niche, but they're not. <laughs> Do I have a favorite Christmas song? Yeah, the one where it's like... Bah, 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 bah. And Mariah Carey comes out and she's like... Bah, da, 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 da. Mariah Carey Christmas. Did it. You know? Yeah. Do, do, do. Exactly. See? Yep. Earl said it right there. <laughs> Remove the, the door. Yeah, I know. The door is, has this little boop there. We might incorporate the little boops, though. We'll just put some rocks over it. No, I won't be lazy with it. And... Boop. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Yeah, it's that one by Mariah Carey. I'll tell you real quick. Ready? Ready? It goes. Ooh. Demonetized. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to test it today. I just played like... I had some other music playing at the same time. And I played it for like two seconds. Let's see if I get demonetized today. <laughs> let's let's see if it happens. I'm totally going to test it out. There it goes. That was a great. I thought it was pretty spot on. Spidey Bells followed by Carol of the Bells. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so there is their way in. Yeah, Mr. Doma is in Six Flags Arizona. Um, the entrance with the, the teepees, I wasn't sure how that was going to be incorporated, but I'm like so happy that you made it basically the main entrance to the to the uh, the park. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> that looks like that's such a fun little uh, uh, build to keep up with. All right, I think that's a good general layout for us right here. So mind you, a lot of this area up against the uh, concrete area is going to be filled in with the fake rocks, okay? A lot of fake rocks coming in here with little, maybe like little like areas they can climb up. We'll see. We'll see. I have a hair in my eye and it's the most annoying thing right now because I can see it, but I can't, like and I keep trying to fish for it around my eye, but I can't, I think it's an eyelash that's attached still, but it's like long and like bent a weird way so it's always like be like hey buddy hey 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 i'm an eyelash oh i got it it wasn't attached it was kind of attached but it wasn't attached that was weird all right anyways we're good to go ready go because <laughs> you only do janky stuff and it works well because six flags oh yeah either do six flags or like a local janky theme park but you can't get like a big amusement park looking thing without um a little bit of budget behind it so yeah the six flags thing is good So I think we just could do a lot of snow. Which means that we're gonna have to um oh yeah, we have to put coolers out everywhere. I forgot about that. Shoot! So coolers. Okay. Sounds good. This song makes me sad. Like, is she okay? not a fan I feel like she's like so sad I don't want to be sad yeah yeah hey what's up Renee yeah I remember you you're Renee very nice particle effect that everyone loves it does I've actually never used coolers truth be told except for like um Hey, Earl, monetize, but who knows? <laughs> By the influence, the mystery remains. Earl, appreciate the heck out of you, buddy. There's my lunch money for the day. Thank you so much, my friend. Happy to have you. <laughs> yeah, let's get some claps or GGs or woohoos in chat there, of course, all the time. Buy that influence up, baby. <laughs> Oh, wait, do I have anything that comes up for this? Do I have anything for... Oh, what the heck, donations? See, so for the members, I have a cool thing that comes up. Now I need to make it so the donation has the cool gift that comes up, too. 
Oh, wait, there it is! It did it! But it didn't do... Oh, I did set it up as that sleigh. Okay, no, I want to I wanna switch it. I gotta switch it. I gotta switch it to, uh... The GIF. The Giffy GIF. Alright, uh, is that enough? That, that could be 40 lunches, 40 packets of ramen noodles. Hey! That's... In this economy? Exactly. <laughs> I've actually had a lot of ramen in the past few months. So, oh, they do emit a little... Well, let me just hide it, right? We can just hide it. It's not going to make the ground go all weird, right? Oh, right. Oh. Oh, okay. I understand. Does that do it? Oh, so it has to be on the ground. Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. Um, you're there at least a couple t uh, times during the week. Oh, for foosball! Yeah. <clears throat> it's so weird that Arizona only has castles and coasters. I don't understand that. Because, like, it, it could be a year-round park that gets built there, right? Or is it not feasible for some reason because it's too hot? <clears throat> Alright, that'll work. We'll cover these up with rocks, I guess. Eating in this economy? Well, I mean, tell you what. I tell you what. cover the building up for the most part except for a little bit sticking out at top it gets really hot but it certainly could be open year round that's what I always kind of thought like and you got a great population boom with Tucson Phoenix um you know, I just, I never understood why Arizona and more of the Southwest really overall just didn't get more uh, attention for uh, theme parks and stuff. I guess we'll just keep using this rock, honestly. There's not really any reason not to. Do I have an Instagram? I do, but I haven't updated it in like a year. Um, if that's something that people are interested in, I can definitely make more of an effort to post for on Instagram. And I can incorporate that into memberships too. I'm basically going to steal Estan's idea for memberships because... He's way better at marketing than, than I am and, like, getting uh, community involvement. Like, I'm the technical side of, like, Take-Two Podcast, and he's, a, he's, like, the good marketing side of it, basically. Um, but anyways, yeah, if that's something that people are interested in, I will totally start to do more Instagram stuff. Uh, igloo Cave in the back. There's an Igloo Cave in the back. An Igloo Cave might be kind of cool. Or an Igloo, like, all together. We could build an Igloo. Do, 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 do. They were planning on building some giant mega sports zoo theme water amusement the uh, complex thing. Yeah, I've uh, been following new legislation and votes. Any guesses uh, where the park stands? I have I've never heard of that before. That's a oh I th you're probably asking Domas. <laughs> Igloo cave. You're stealing ideas as we go. Absolutely, steal ideas as we go, please. It will both come up with different ideas of what an igloo cave should be, which is awesome. Phoenix and Tucson Metro has like five to six million people. Yeah, ex yeah, right, exactly. Um, yeah, my uncle's from Phoenix and Ant, technically, but I see my uncle more.
Hmm. Think, think, think in here. Which is always a... Always a, a bad thing to do there. All right, now it's repeating this playlist. We're going to go to the other one. I found a new playlist today on Spotify. So we'll try that out. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so I think we could just um give me, give me, give me. Think the rocks are too white? They might be. We'll take a look at them in just a second. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll see if they're too white. Maybe make them a little more dirty. But first... I'm gonna try and make an igloo. How many people from Ohio watch the uh, streams? I know there's a ton of people in Ohio, but I wouldn't have thought that. I guess I guess I just attract Ohioans. Ohio. Oh. All right, let me look at an igloo here. Yeah, pretty much what I thought. Okay. Yeah, Ohio has the top zoo, some of the top zoos and uh, theme parks, so I guess that kind of attracts both of them there. Because I'm a theme park and zoo channel, so it's just kind of natural for uh, those two things to kind of, uh, yeah. Like the uh, theme park and zoo stuff. How do you reply in live chat? You just did it. You just did it. This is live chat right now. <laughs> you are live right now, and I can see what you type if I catch it. Oh, yeah, I don't have my glasses still, everyone. I forgot to update. I, I still don't have my glasses. So. <laughs> still no glasses, hopefully this week, though. You built elephant crossings from the Cleveland Zoo. We try to go there once a year. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, Heather, still, still nothing. So yeah, if I miss your chat, it is literally because I did not see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this actually needs to be a little more spread out. Uh, hey, Minecraft. Reply to people. You can hit the at symbol. And then type, start typing their name, and then their name will show up. And then you can click on that, and then they'll see that you added them. Added them. Xbox, nothing too major though. Huh. Let me double check. I think, yeah, I think it's just on YouTube today for some reason. Because everything on my end is all good. I think YouTube is just having a hiccup day. Oh my goodness, look at who it is, everyone. Pawsley, I'm trying to make your face here, but it's just not coming out right. Send me a. I need your face. <gasps> my glasses are available to pick up! But I can't give them until tomorrow! 
I can't believe it. But it, oh my god, what a cock tease. What a cock tease. <laughs> They're available right now, but we only have one vehicle. And uh, she's working until uh, 9 o'clock tonight, which is way later than they close. So we'll, have to, we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, give me your face. Give me your face. <laughs> it's a Planet Zoo miracle. Oh my gosh. I know. I feel like everyone in the Planet Zoo community has asked me if my glasses are back yet. <laughs> I, I almost want to, Heather. <laughs> I almost want to. I got to text real quick. That's awesome. <laughs> I I feel like it's Christmas morning. But what am I... I gotta get a new meme now. What's my meme now? You know? If I... Like, Estan is, is always never gonna have... Um, see, Earl, why don't you show up earlier? You were... You're just like... You're my rabbit's foot, buddy. You're my rabbit's foot. Whenever you... <laughs> Whenever Earl donates five dollars, a miracle happens. He's the miracle. He's the miracle do donator. <laughs> um, that's funny. <laughs> Couldn't live without yours. Yeah, I again. I just and as someone mentioned it yesterday, they're like, "What if you um come? This is gonna look like a weird igloo. I mean, it's gonna be bigger, but I don't. Know, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Oh wait, wrong, wrong." Wait, is this not... Oh, it's not gridded. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I forgot it's not gridded. Heck. Because I was just playing Planet Coaster and a lot of those... This is the only gridded one. Oh, what a dumb. I can't believe I did that. That's... Pretty good. <laughs> Shoot, man. It's totally not center. <laughs> But it's centered enough. <laughs> oh crap. Ah, that's what I get for switching back between the two games so much. <laughs> I forget that everything's not gridded in this game, unlike Planet Coaster. Alright. Anyways. SD and Britney Spears could come back as a meme. Oh my gosh. Gosh, close enough. Yeah, we're gonna give it the old, the old close enough. I think is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do the old close enough, <laughs> and just act like it never happened. Let's see if we can start to open this up now to be a little bit more better. Matty Matt! Matt, Matt, Matt! <laughs> Paul has pants now, everyone. Paul! Who told you you could have pants? I don't remember saying that Paul could have pants. Who gave Pearl permission to have pants? Heather, I swear, we come out with a strict regiment in the morning for our, our daily streams, and one of those top things is don't let Paul have pants. We all know how Paul gets when he has pants on. He gets that attitude, and he's like, I'm Paul, and I have pants. And everyone's like, oh, God, Paul's got his pants again. He's got his, like, his dad pants. Or, the way, the, uh, see the wife? Yeah, yeah. People throw things at me if I don't have them on. <laughs> They try and play ring. Nope. 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 Never mind. <laughs> no, not gonna do that. But where's Paul underwear? Ooh, now that's the dirty question there. That's that's the big dirty question, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh, I need the little tube. I need the tube for the igloo. Like right here, we'll put the tube. Commando. Woo! Ladies. Palsy OF available. Palsy OnlyFans. Woo! But the missus is going to love that. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man alive. It's been done already? The perfect dome? Yeah, didn't someone make a uh, perfect... Uh... Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's who did it. Wait, wait, wait. I need to make it... Actually, I'll do it about this tall here. Perfect build for a snowy day, Aunt Crispy. You betcha. You betcha. I'm gonna move this. Not quite snowy here, which, you know, honestly, at this point, I kind of want it to snow. It's getting so close to Christmas, and we've only had, as I explained it earlier, bullshit snow. <laughs> which is essentially slushy bleh, snow. But, yeah. It's a huge, it is a huge igloo. Yeah, I, I want it to be like a hangout spot for the penguins. I want it to be like, kind of like that. So yeah, it, it totally has to be big because I just already can foresee hitbox issues being a thing. <laughs> like, it's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen, so I'm just making it extra big. <laughs> Is Icy Blue here? Hey, Icy Blue! Icy Blue! Um, speaking of you, Icy Blue, what was the name of the Cayman that you wanted to... What was the name for the Cayman that you had yesterday? I totally forgot to name it, and I, I randomly thought of it this morning. Dude, dude, who came up with the idea of an igloo, though? I don't know, one of you guys. Ripper! That's right, Ripper. I think one of you guys did, didn't you? Was it you, Primal? Is that what you're saying? Like, look at me, I'm Primal, and I came up with the idea. <laughs> There's Ripper right there. Some polar bear uh, penguin interaction. I kind of thought about doing that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the... The Eskimos who decided that it's so cold that they'd actually rather have an ice, a house full of ice than stay out in the middle of an ice storm. That's how you know it's cold. If you'd rather build your home out of ice and that's all you have, that's, that's how you know it's cold. <laughs> I thought you were trying to get credit like, yeah, but whose idea was it for the igloo, huh? I'm like, okay, Primal, it was yours. <laughs> all right william have a good one buddy um gonna be a nice pink penguin palace yes the penguin palace we'll see you later buddy have a good one you have see you have the wet snow now too just yep i we also had the wet snow it's the bullshit snow it's the bullshit snow i'm telling you You hate people like that. <laughs> like, get credit where credit's due for sure, but... <laughs> oh, sticking snow! Yay, sticky snow! I want sticking snow. Alright. Let's take our... 
giant igloo, our, our jigloo, as it's called. Wait, I don't want to take that with me. It's like a jigolo, but it's a jiglu. We're gonna stick it like here-ish. Now, well, hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cause how are they gonna be able to see them? Do 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 do. You should stagger the seams on the archway. Like the seams running back to front? I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't comprehend English for some reason. I'm gonna... Okay, so we're gonna put it up here. The entrance is gonna be facing this way. The little... Please call up... <laughs> I think we'll have to, Bosley. So they enter in over this way. Let's take Oh, I didn't make it all a building. I need to make you all a building to make this easier, please. But not you. Not you either. But you all need to be a building. Can I oh my god, I can tilt it. It's all it's all different places. Oh, look at this shit. And then it'll be like a little, um, like a in there so you can see and everything. Dude, yeah, do toots intensify. So think like regular bricks. Yes, you don't put them directly on. That's right, you don't. You stagger them. That's true. I don't, oh, you do the whole thing like that? Oh, you just said the entrance tunnel. I mean, we could do the entrance tunnel. I'm not doing the whole thing like that. <laughs> I'm not doing the whole thing like that, though. So he's saying just move him just a little bit. Just like, just like kind of skirt. Yeah, theoretically the whole thing, I know. And that just sounds like the worst thing in the world, to be honest with you. <laughs> but we'll kind of do the front a little bit. 20 penguins? So we're going to do, yeah, 500. We're doing 500 penguins. Actually... Hey, Crispy, it's a great idea, but I don't care enough to do it that much. <laughs> it, it is a good idea, though. And if I wanted to stay there for a little bit and put in the effort, I would. But I'm not going to. So, there. <laughs> but it is a really good idea. And it's only because I'm lazy. So how well can you see in there? Pretty well, actually. You still want to see the 500 penguins? <laughs> the 500 penguins would be ridiculous, though. The noises that would just... It would just... It would be ridiculous. The noises would be just dumb. You wouldn't be able to hear anything, let alone the... Yeah, the FPS. The FPS would just be... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the squawk, squawk, <laughs> constantly. All right, so I guess that's fine. I mean, I almost just want to take out the whole side of it. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to kind of take out the whole side and just make a giant window right here. Really no reason not to at this point. Bold here. Hey, Boulderino. The time to adopt all of them? Oh my god. I don't want to. I, don't, I just can't. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Had a placement system for animals like all other Z games going through. The trade system just feels clunky still. Yeah, especially without a freaking um, search function. That's still amazing to me. That's still kind of amazing to me that there's no search function. Especially as we get more and more animals with each DLC. 
It's just like, man, we kind of need that. Oh, we can keep this open. We can keep that open because there's people over there. All right, so there's our... <laughs> it's, it kind of works. I don't think they're going to be able to get in here. I'm just now looking at this. They're not going to be able to get in there. Let's get the let's get the penguins. Let's get the penguins going. Penguins! Penguin time! It's time for the penguins! The penguins in the city! There they are. How many are we doing? Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll do as many penguins as we can do names. Not, no, no, that's that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> How about just one male and like 50 females? Because that's what it seems like all the animals are all about. They're like, this, this animal can have one male and at least 7,000 females. And they all love it. Like, all right, man. What are we up to? Like 16? I think this is 20. Is anyone keeping track? <laughs> uh. You only get to the letter K, yeah. The one male name has to be Chad. The Chad the Chad win. The Chad win. He'll be a he'll be a Chad penguin. The biggest Chad of all the penguins, Chad win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We even got a gold one in there too. We have one gold, a handful of bronzes, and like two silvers. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. Can one be named Danny DeVito? One needs to be named Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All right. Uh, unpausing the game also helps. Let's give the let's let's give our staff a little bit of a break so they're not just running a fucking marathon all day. Um, and we'll actually put a trade center over here. Look at everyone and learn how to play the game. I learned how to play the game, so now I know how to like place objects down. And I'm just like becoming a real zoo tycooner here over here. I tell ya, I'm just becoming a real zoo tycooner, dear. Um, what else do we need? That's it. Because we don't need a workshop. Don't need that. Well, we might need the vet surgery. 20 birds going in. Yeah, at least one of them is going to be all borked up. At least one will be borked. Heck! Why are you guys raising your hand and giving peace? Is everyone leaving? And no one told me? I didn't say the stream was done. We could still... We, we don't have to end the stream right now. All right, we'll see everyone later. Everyone wants the stream to be done, I guess. I don't know. Everyone just is like, all right, we're all done. So everyone is... See, Bolt's flipping me off and stuff. So we're just... Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for... I guess it's just time to go. We'll see everyone later. <laughs> Yeah, we'll 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 get some penguin names going here. We'll get some penguin. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Are you a male? Then guess what? Chad. Chad. All right, from here on out, um, I'm not. Don't even look at the sex of it. <laughs> I'm just naming them as we go, basically. So the first one I see. So there's Leaf. Next stone up will be Megan. Your heart will live on. Megan B with a period. All right, y'all keep track of your penguins, all right? So we have Chad, Leaf, Megan B so far, all right? It's up to you to keep track of your penguin. In game, we're going to come back later, and we're going to see if you can keep track of them, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can keep it a little bit like this, but... All right, um, next one up, Aunt Crispy. Again, if I give the sex is wrong for it, 
you know, and you're like, oh, I'm not a female, whatever, I'm not a male. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Sylvan. There we go. Look at y'all doing the thing. Who else is raising their hand there? Right, we have time for this. We totally bold. Flip me off. So <laughs> here you are, bold. Of course, we have to get uh, Zebras, Icy, and Heather. Heather G. Oh, there's Aunt Crispy. Aunt Crispy, get out of the way. Just, are you okay, Aunt Crispy? I think Aunt Crispy's constant. It's injured! Someone hurt Aunt Crispy already. <laughs> Icy Blue. 22. More specifically. Here's the one that waddles. There we go. So, oh, so who's the Jesus penguin? Chad. Chad the Jesus penguin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, Chad would be the Jesus penguin. <laughs> of course. Timothy Williams. Let's see if we should have some more. Uh... Here's Timothy. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Let's go ahead and keep building. That was a little bit of fun there. Oh, I didn't even think to check how deep it is. Oh, I got it good, though. Okay. Wait, is that an escape? Who's escaping? Can you all get out? Oh, hey. Oh, I mean... Yeah, okay, so you can get out. Gotcha. Let's pause the game. <laughs> they they can get out. Oh, there it goes. Who's getting out? Leaf? I swear to God, Leaf. I turned my back for two seconds. And how you doing, Timothy? Good to see you. Hollerish! Look at you going in here, Hollerish. Holly, 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 Holly. <laughs> Got it. Leaf is escaping. Leaf's beat a butthead, everyone. Yell at Leaf. Everyone collectively yell at Leaf. Ruining it for everyone. Got a penguin on the run. Penguin on the run. Penguin on the run. There's totally more coming. There's totally a lot more coming. <laughs> I just put it on pause while we... Uh, <laughs> there he is. You can't contain me! You think these walls will hold me? <laughs> and there... It looks like it too. He's just like, You think you can control me? I'm Leaf Ping. I'm Leaf again. Leafy Penguin. Who's calling? Someone from from Alta, California. I don't know anyone from Alta, California. Never, not a once. Their sizes vary a bit. Yeah, they do. They uh, You can kind of tell which ones are the females and the males for sure. Maybe it's Savannah. No, she better not be because she's trying to take her exam. No one bothers Savannah while she's taking doing school. She's trying to derail the strip. No, no, she can't be. Tell her to go back to school. Dang it, Savannah, just stay in school come this far the animals need you
Yeah, could you? Could you all just like again? We're gonna do a test. All right, quick. Who's this? Everyone, real quick. Who's this? I'll give you. I'll give it a second to catch up. I'll give it like five seconds to catch up here. Who's this? Let's 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 see if if you all recognize. I'm gonna click on it, and just it's you. It's bold. It's bold. Okay, ready? That's Chad. <laughs> Every penguin's Chad. It's it is Chad. <laughs> it's Chad. <laughs> so Primal and Megan B, <laughs> they can see the Chad. They can see the Chad in them. <laughs> you can just you can feel the inner Chad of that penguin <laughs> coming out. Even in even when it's not a human, he radiated the Chad energy is strong. Yes. That's exactly right. The Chad energy is strong with this one. <laughs> I can't believe y'all got that right. <laughs> I really can't. That's amazing. If anyone was a Chad, that penguin was a Chad. All right, let's start to make the uh, underwater viewing area here. We know who a Chad is, Drew. Yeah, we know who a Chad is around here. All right. I, you know what? I underestimated your your Chadars. I really did. I thought your uh, I thought your Chadars weren't working that well, but I was uh, I was mistaken. Thank you for proving me wrong. I appreciate that. He's a he's. A <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna date some people if they understand that reference. He is. He's a hanging Chad. Only a Chad could pull off exactly. Yep, one hundred percent. You never want to hear about hanging chads again. Yeah, no, there was a there was a time period there, right, where you couldn't not turn on the TV and not hear about hanging chads. Ugh. And then everyone was, I mean, there was a skit in um, How I Met Your Mother about it, but it was kind of a real thing where people would dress up like the hanging chad thing. It's like, oh my god. Even me in my, like, adolescence, I'm like, oh my god, why? Stop. <laughs> oh, what's up? Um, I always mispronounce your name. I know I do. Lura Neobol. How are you doing? How are you doing? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Your dad's name is Chad? Hey, there you go. USA has come a long way since since the hanging Chad days. That what twenty years ago now. Long way in some direction, yeah. <laughs> yeah, have we though? Yeah, that's a gone in. We've gone in some direction, that's for sure. Time wise, literally, yes, we have come a long way. Quite literally, in the sense of time, agreed. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. Look at this zoo! <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, you know what we'll use over here? We'll use those new... Um... Oh, they're so good. I can't remember the name of them, though. I think they start with a B. I can't remember. I just downloaded them for Thornton Hill Zoo from SDN Wolf. 
And yeah, they work out super well. I just can't remember the name of them. They're named like Brawly, I think, or actually, is that what their name is? A Brawly? Yeah. This must be like a. Yeah. Working in the PJs is not the worst thing. <laughs> See, I'm an introvert, so this year hasn't been an entire loss for me, really. When I look back at it, I'm like, you know, not the best year, obviously, but I'm an introvert anyways, and going outside is icky and weird. Not really. I like to go and do things, obviously, but <laughs> if I do choose, I usually do say choose to stay inside for the most part. And a lot of what I like like to accomplish and do is all uh, on the internets and stuff. And your life didn't change at all. Right, bold, I know. That's that's the thing. Is like, I'm all uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a you kind of realize how much of a hermit you are when there's a global pandemic going on and your life doesn't change at all. Of <laughs> truth. <clears throat> hey, welcome to the Discord. Go ahead and share your work there if you'd like to. There's the community uh, showcase post if you have anything you want to have submitted for the community showcase uh, weekly. Oh, what's today? Oh, it's Wednesday, so we have a few more days for that. Um, but yeah, welcome on into the Discord, buddy. Time set every time I step outside or let people in my house, which is like, how is that even possible? Yeah, no, we've been, we haven't seen anyone all year. We haven't seen anyone all year. We, we have one set of friends that we, um, can hang out with and see because they also have to take, um, things really seriously like we do. So we know they're not like going out and doing stuff or whatever so we can actually trust to be around them, but... They're the only ones, except for them. We kind of had to cut off everyone else because we would get invited to places and then see people post on Facebook like, we we're at the bar. Like, dude, like, you you know that my wife is immune compromised. And then you're just like going to go out to the bar and then invite us over like the next day. Like, dude, <laughs> you kind of suck. Don't do that. Ooh, if I can make that work, it'd be really nice. I don't think it's going to. That's okay. Why didn't that work? I think it's the water. You know what? Hold on real quick. We're going to take the water out for just a second. <laughs> I say that. And put it, we're going to put it right back in. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah. Now, why won't that one go flush, but this one over here went flush? Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just make do with what we, what we have. Not that big a deal. You have one, yeah, like your one, I guess you want to say, like, responsible or dedicated friend or whatever. You like this grouping? I think it's nice, right? That's usually what I try and do if I take, like, a blueprint off the workshop. That's kind of, like, really usable like this or something is... Um, oh, I got rid of it over there next. <laughs> um, but, yeah, try and, like, reuse it or remake it in kind of a cool little way there. We're actually going to change the colors of it, too, now that I'm looking at it. I think it'd be cool if we changed up the colors a little bit. You just finished drawing on Insta and I tagged you, just so you know. Oh, you did? On Instagram? I will actually have to boot up Instagram and take a look. If you want, and you don't have to, um, but I also have the Discord, so if you want to go on Discord and share it and like to talk about it, or um, maybe I'll have to get like a um, like art sharing section or something like that. I'll totally see it on there too. Is a gorilla and I've never drawn one, so hey, good luck, Primal. That'll be fun to draw. 
He refuses to follow any guidelines and is mad when now we won't visit. I'm like, dude, I have one working kidney and a shit immune system. I'm not coming near you. Yeah. I, that, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Some people like to live with their their heads in the sand and act like it's not real and it's not going on until it actually affects them. I had a family member that was just like that. Exactly like that. Oh, it's just a bird a bird. It's not rare and it's der -ga -der. And then guess what? Oh, hey, you got it. Oh, you did. And now it's really real? Oh, okay. I guess it's real now because it affected you directly. Got it. I understand now. This is also a family member that I've been f trying to find an excuse not to talk too much lately. <laughs> and this year was kind of like, oh, okay, I see. You suck. Cool. Cool. And everyone else kind of realizes you suck too. Awesome. Awesome. This is a, this is a good year, actually, <laughs> actually, for getting rid of toxic family members. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to argue every week with the scientists and medical professionals and say that it's fake and then only admit that it's a real thing when you get it you, you can you can go you can kind of go what's the word you can kind of go fuck yourself you, you can go fuck yourself sweetheart <laughs> i don't i don't care how much family we are you, you can go kindly step off a bridge and fuck yourself okay okay i'm glad we all came to an agreement on that it is the 5g towers it's the towers um all right so we need to move the Coolers. That's what I was trying to remember to do. Yeah, these guys here. <laughs> the voices are back. No, only back sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes. Alright, so now I want to build the... Ooh, behind here. And that's going to be the fun part. <clears throat> Holly! <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> Bye. You got thrown afterwards. You still like that? Well, yeah, that's upsetting to hear, but you know. Just like Forrest Gump said, stupid is, stupid does. Stupid is, stupid does. Well, I had someone that, like a friend that was like that, and they got it as well. Um, so they never took any precautions or anything like that. They don't, they don't give a shit. Um,. But they got a like a not a not a like a bad version of it, which is good. Don't want anyone to like get really nasty, sick, or worse or anything like that. But it's also like, man, if there was someone that like should have gotten hit really hard over the head with it, it probably should have been you to like make you just be like, just shut up. <laughs> You're so stupid. God, that's that's what we did. We let too many dumb people like have the mic this year. You know, I think that's what it was. Just too many dumb people got on, like, Twitter and Facebook and, like, really felt like they had a platform. And then everyone was like, yeah, let's let's listen to these really dumb dumbs. These big dumb dumbs. I think they got something to say. <laughs> Are we getting sassy here today? You might just get IDGA after today, more, more so. You might just get that kind of Drew today, to more so. <laughs> Every couple days, um, hard to say that I felt um, too bad for him. Felt bad for his nurse, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. It's that. That's those are the ones that you do feel bad for. The ones that are doing everything right, but then, oh hey, here comes Captain. I read this on Facebook, so you can't tell me. With not wearing a mask, not doing simple stuff, gets everyone else sick. It's like, oh, okay. You selfish prick. It's like, I just saw a meme that's like, I remember the way that y'all acted when we ran out of toilet paper. Don't think I'm going to forget about that heading into, or like after this is all done. <laughs> it's just like how I feel about a lot of stuff. It's like, I remember how a lot of y'all acted when very simple things were put out in place for you to do and you had to argue about it. Like a, like a two-year-old, like... Don't think we're all just going to forget that y'all acted like two-year-olds during a pandemic, all right? <laughs> you don't just go back and act like everything's normal after this and like, all right, no, you're fine. You're f No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we need to make shaming people okay again for being dumb. Oh. 
on the info paper. So you see, when you uh, have been lied to long enough, lies are just as good as facts. Lots of, yeah, but when people are trying to argue with medical professionals and scientists and stuff like that, then it's like, um, you could take your counter arguments and kind of shove them up your butt. Chad. <laughs> Too many Chads and Kyles trying to come off as smarter than they are. Too many Chads and Kyles got too much of a platform in 2020. Alright, so then we can kind of incorporate these two. I kind of like how this looks a little bit... Oh, you know what? I never checked. You know what? I never checked. But I bet they can't do it. Oh, they can actually get in here. Oh, there's actually one in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Once in a while to hang out. She's super responsible and wears uh, masks. Last time I saw her in person outside of class would be in September. Uh, we went skating. That sounds like a fun time, though. That sounds like a fun time, though. Uh, I got a busy schedule later today. All right, leave. Have a good one, buddy. Have a good one. Jump into the water from a high place. They cannot. No, they cannot. They cannot do that, unfortunately. Actually, I'm just going to bring the land up a little bit. Let's see here. The Revolution? That's my band's name. That's my 80s synthwave band name. We're the Revolutions. And we just play covers of You Spin Me Right Round all the time. We've got a huge booking at a bowling alley later next year. We expect at least 20 people to show up. So I'm trying to think of what to do for like the castle a little bit here. I mean, that's, I keep saying like thinking castle or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see how it works out. The murals, Drew. Yes, the murals are great. I concur. Oh, it's part of the building. Huh. <laughs> Earl's coming through with his CIA operative. Too much information knowing. I'm going to report you to the NSA. <laughs> Reported. Yeah, we got to put the murals in. Yep, yep, yep. We'll put the murals in. Probably up here. Like up on top of the concrete up here. <laughs> That's how it kind of looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Before I get going too hard here, hold on a second. Can y'all, like, do the climbing thing up there? Yeah, no. Okay. Oh, I think I see why. Hey, Sam, how's it going, buddy? How are we doing today, Sam?
Uh, that's good to hear, Sam. Amazing is always the best, right? Usually the best there. All right, let's see how this works, though. Hey, they can't escape now. That's cool. Hey, oh, they can get up there. Okay, so now that they can get up there, we can escape over here. Why? Because the. Uh... Oh, I see why. So now they're up there. Let's see. We're going to build like a. Something right here. Do we have like a. A snow building set? Or am I thinking a planet coaster? Oh, actually, yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking of right here. Yeah, do we have this but with, in, like, snow? I kind of thought we did for some reason. Oh my gosh, we kind of do. Oh, wow, we do! I can actually use this! Look at that! Can, is this recolorable? Oh, dang, because that's actually a cool-looking texture. If we could recolor that, that'd be amazing. Leave it open like that. All right. Let's make the little, I guess, place where they're gonna hang out up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, so a reminder that today is the last day of streaming until let me pull up the calendar. Uh, two days from now, so until Saturday. Because remember, we're doing the new scheduling where I'm going to be doing two days on, two days off. Which is my wife's work schedule now. So I just kind of figured I'd do that. So yeah, two days on, two days off is the schedule there. So this is the second day. So yeah, we'll be off tomorrow. But back for Saturday, Sunday. Nice. So we'll do uh, weekend streams. It works out then. You bought the set, uh, what's set? The, oh, the aquatic set? The aquatic pack there? Yeah, the aquatic pack. Um, you haven't even looked through all the new, uh, items. Haven't seen a YouTube video breaking down the new pieces yet either. It's, it's a pretty good pack, Earl. It's, it's not bad. It's a little bit lighter on the scenery stuff. I will say that. It is just a little bit light. But, as you can see here, these, uh, faux rocks here, recolorable fake rocks, are super worth it. Um, we have a, here it is, recolorable wood panel set here. Really worth that as well. Um, and yeah, the aquatic animals overall are pretty dang neat to see them swimming around and stuff. Pretty cool. So I think it's worth it and uh, has some good stuff to it. Just wish it was a little bit more chunky. You need a little bit more chunkiness to it. You know, instead of this building like that, I'm probably just going to keep using this. Um, so even though I'll be off, I think we're going to have another Take Two podcast in between that time as well with Mr. Mike Sheets, Mr. Mikel Sheets there. Pretty sure we will. Um, if not with him, then we have some other people lined up as well. So there might be some more content coming out for me, even if I'm not on streaming and stuff like oh actually there will be because i forgot uh take two pot or take two pot uh what's the name of my zoo that i'm doing thornton hill zoo jesus <laughs> i have a new episode of that coming out soon too so yeah uh earl the rocks are amazing the fact that you can recolor them however you want to is just like come on you want a red rock okay cool there you go red rocks <laughs>
yeah, just keep <laughs> just keep outdoing yourself without ever showing it off, and then you're just always in a spot to re uh, outdo yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If I remember, yeah, they could get over in this area too, and I don't want them to do that. So this isn't going to be like a castle, actually. This is going to be more so just like a, I guess, a general rocky landscape that they can kind of go up onto. And yeah, we're going to block off this entire section, essentially. Which, if we're going to do that, let's just go ahead and get rid of the wall. Or redo the wall, I should say. Is the project that you're working on, Earl, in um, Planet Coaster? So here's our floor. I just need to kind of cover it up a little bit. some coffee brew in nice I mean personally that sounds gross but I'm sure it'll be nice for you <laughs> we just talked about that yesterday didn't we yeah can't do coffee for me too bitter too bitter too bitter what's up primal welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back Workshop Neo. Heard, heard. Let me actually pull that up now. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, hi, Bruce. Let's stay down, buddy. Cool. Yep. I see ya. I see the project too. Ooh. It's like a red square or take on red square and good job, bro. <laughs> I'm going to explore that later. That's going to be fun. That one of his new toy squeaks he's like oh yeah no we, we we don't do squeaky toys anymore we don't do squeaky toys anymore because yeah he also he has one and um yeah after he gets rid of that no 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 <laughs> he loves it but oh my god oh, I just can't do it Pingy Palace, yes. <laughs> um, your dog digs into his uh, toy trying to get the squeaker out of it and squeaks when he uh, loses track of where his seat nice. Um, for a microphone, any good advice? I mean, the one that I have is a, a Yeti brand USB microphone. And I think just starting out, <clears throat> USB microphones are totally fine. 
So yeah, the one that I'm using now is a Yeti Blue. I can't remember the price. I, I believe it was under 100 Maybe even under 50 or right around there. But um, anyways, yeah, I would just start with a uh, a nice little um, USB mic like that. The one under this is also, I, I had a Yeti pill or something like that. Shoot, I can't remember. If you look on the Yeti website, Yeti microphone website, you'll come up with a lot of stuff. You'll come up with a lot of stuff there. You have a snowball. Yeah, snowballs are really popular. A lot of people like to use Snowball. I almost got that as well. Noot noot. <laughs> a swearing dog toy? That'd be kind of awesome, actually. For like the first little bit, then it'd totally get annoying. <laughs> it would get annoying really fast, so I bet. That's kind of like most animal toys. Just like, oh, this is cute. Until you're just like, God, I hate everything about this. <laughs> like, I don't want this to be a thing anymore. Whose idea was it to buy this for the dog? Oh, yeah, mine. The swearing Roomba? Yeah, I saw that on, um, who was the creator that did that? Michael Reeves? Or was it William Osman? One of them made that? It was, that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I don't really need to fill in all this space back here, right? Because we're not going to be able to see it. I mean, kind of, we do. Yeah, we need to make, like, a little facade back here. Dog is out, coffee's done, you're good to go. All right, time to wrap up the stream, everyone. I'm just kidding, Heather. <laughs> That's good, you're all settled in there. What's up, Ashley? Your dog loves the uh, uh, toys that make noise, especially his talking ball. Oh my gosh. They have to, though, right? They have to like the ones that drive us humans the most crazy. Sibin, or, uh, Sibin, Silbin, <laughs> excuse me. Have a good one, my friend. Always good to see you. We'll see you Saturday, okay? Hopefully we see you on Saturday. That bit with the, uh, the room where it goes, why was I created? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Can we make a, make a friend's intro with the penguins? Oh my god. Oh my god, we might be able to. I get copyright strike right away, but who cares, kinda, at that point? <laughs> yeah, instead of the the clapping, it's no 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 <laughs> squash 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 squash. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. I hate you all for bringing that idea up. <laughs> Yeah, Ashley, exactly. When you're watching the movie, right? Not when not when it's a convenient time. 
But when they know that you're preoccupied and not... Well, you know what it is because you're not paying attention to them. Or her, you know, your dog. <laughs> it's because you're not paying attention to them right that exact moment. And they know it. So it's just like, hey, 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 human. Human. Squeak, 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 squeak. Human. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Stop looking at your box. Stop looking at your stupid box, human. Pay attention to me. Since birds are related to dinosaurs, we can't rule out some dinos sounding like penguins. <gasps> Dinosaur penguins? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Dinosaur penguins? Um, so good, how are we doing? Hey, Linda, welcome back, buddy. We're doing okay. We're making a facade right now. <laughs> Who's that penguin? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Jack, Top Gun vibes? Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. I love me some vaporwave, some synth wave, or whatever it's being. Whatever the kids call it these days. Isn't there a Top Gun 2 coming out? Right? Pretty sure it's coming out. Or they at least talked about it. Hey, Icy Blue. Have a good one, my friend. We'll talk to you later, okay? Say hi to all the animals at the zoo for us. <laughs> we gotta get Icy, uh, Icy Blue to share some pictures or something if he can, or whatever of uh their word there or their work hanging out with the animals top gun maverick out in 2021 what a name top gun maverick there was like a, yeah, that's right, there was a trailer for it, now that you uh, mentioned the name of it. Yeah, I remember watching the trailer. And I bet it's gonna be like, you know, it's it's a sequel coming out, what, 30 years later? So I'm sure it's, <laughs> it's not gonna be like the best thing in the world, but uh, hey, my, my nostalgia is here for it, okay? My nostalgia is here for it. You put a pick in the Discord. Thanks, Icy Blue. I always like to see the behind the stuff, behind the scenes stuff of uh, zoos and all that. Whatever you can share, because I know sometimes you get into some trouble sharing some uh, behind the scenes stuff like that.
Yeah, hi, Bruce. Bonjour. Bonjour. What's this? What's this? There's magic everywhere. <laughs> Just every single time. Um, yeah, this is okay. This is the fun part because it's starting to come together. And then we get to look at it and see that, oh wait, the penguins can't climb on it anymore because reasons. Um, you know how hard it is to draw a polar bear unironically with a white background? Almost impossible. Yeah, I bet. Favorite Christmas movie? You like the Die Hard and uh, the Jim Carrey Grinch. Ah, interesting. Jim Carrey Grinch. Um, mine is Christmas Vacation. With Chepa Cherish. Followed by, like, probably Home Alone. And, like, the Santa Claus is good. Although that one, the Santa Claus, as much as I do love it for nostalgia's sake, I did watch it, like, a year or two ago, and, like, as an adult kind of realize like hmm this movie's kind of weird <laughs> in some spots it's like this is kind of weird there's, there's just some there's some plot holes and there's just some but my nostalgia side always will love it Christmas with the what? The Crank? Kranks? Is that a German Christmas movie? I've never heard of that before. Christmas with the Kranks. <laughs> Santa Claus is uh, one I always remember as a kid. Yeah, it's a good one. Enjoy Home Alone 2! Look at you being different. Look at you. You're like, hey everyone, I'm different. I'm Seabrus. And yeah, I don't like Home Alone 1. I actually like Home Alone 2. Because I'm just like a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> uh, Christmas Vacation. I love to see Christmas Vacation. It's my favorite. Do, 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 do. You only watched that one first. Okay, okay, that's fair. Yeah, so you associate with it. I, I understand. I love Elf. Yeah, Elf is great. Elf is a great one. Yep, yep, yep. Hi, my name is Buddy the Elf. Yeah, that's that's a tradition one, and it's it's funny because like I was telling my wife this the other day because um she was wanting to watch Elf and she's like do you want to watch it and I was like I don't I can't do it this year, and she's like what do you mean like all year and I was like yeah I just I can't do it this year because like when growing up whenever we'd watch a movie or like if we got into a, a Christmas movie or any kind of movie like my brother and sister we would watch that movie and I mean watch that movie. <laughs> To the point of it being like, okay, I have to take a decade off of this movie right now. Because I've, I've, I've watched Home Alone, the first one, you know, at least a thousand times. So it's like, oh god. 
I can't do it this year or or elf or whatever. It's like okay, I know I need a longer break. I need a longer break. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't do it this year. And yeah, it wasn't just Christmas movies they do that with. It was like um, a Beautiful Mind. I love that movie with uh, Russell Crowe about the mathematician. Um, one of my favorite movies, but like my sister got to like in that movie as well. And then we watched it over and over and over and over and over and over and over uh, to the point where it's like, oh god, I can't do it. I can't do it. I gotta take a break. Dude, dude, dude. It's with Sam Ellen as well. They try to skip Christmas to go on a cruise, but then things change. Who would want to go on a cruise, A, ever, and B, instead of doing Chris? I'm just anti-cruise. They look so terrible to me. <laughs> I don't know why they look fun to people. I just, I, it just, you're filled with, like, a bunch of other tourists. You're stuck in the middle on a boat in, like, the middle of the ocean. And, like, was, is there that much to do? Like, you feel like you're going to run out of stuff to do. I don't know. Just the idea of like a cruise just sounds so gross and whatever to me. <laughs> do, 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 do. You've been on a cruise. It's actually a lot of fun. I'm I'm sure they are for maybe. <laughs> it doesn't look like fun to me at all. You kids love the Polar Express, no doubt I'll have to watch that again. The Polar Express, is that the Tom Hanks one? Tom Hanks one there. Lynn, you don't think Christmas uh, Home Alone is a Christmas movie because you can easily switch out the story for summer? All right. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> seven cruises not by choice my parents took me with them and it was an experience each time i enjoyed some of it uh minus the seasickness gotcha 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 yeah no i just i just can't see it being that much fun of a time for me But where does that leave Die Hard, the best Christmas movie film of all? I don't think Die Hard's a, a Christmas movie. I'm in that camp of Die Hard not being a Christmas movie, so you will have to ask someone else. I think that it is set in Christmas. Or during the time of Christmas. But other than that, it has no association with the holiday whatsoever. But I always like to hear when people try and make the argument for it. <laughs> and I'll watch it during Christmas time because that's when it's on TV or TV. <laughs> Who has cable? Uh, but that's when it's like on or talked about the most. I'll totally watch it during Christmas time. But yeah, I don't think it's a Christmas movie at all. Nope, nope, nope. I think we just continue this mountain like all the way over here. Well, hmm. Maybe not actually. Let's start, let's start to uh, cut it off right there and get the building behind it going. No one says it as their favorite 
Gremlins Man Best out there. Oh, you like Gremlins for Christmas movie? That's another one of those that I don't really count as a Christmas movie. It takes place during Christmas. But I don't know it's a Christmas movie. Actually, it's been so long since I've seen Gremlins. I love that movie. That's such a good movie. <laughs> I feel like not many people uh, talk about that one that much. Your dog was named uh, after Gizmo from Gremlins. Nice. Next thing you'll say is that Rage Against the Machines killing in the name of wasn't a Christmas song. Speak. <laughs> oh, I saw the most ironic, funny thing. Oh, no, it's political. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. It's political, but. <laughs> uh, there was something really funny that happened with that song during the recent election that made me LOL really hard. All I'll say is listen to the lyrics of songs if you're going to have them at your protest first. <laughs> and make sure that they line up with your protest before using the song <laughs> in, in, during your protest. Because you, you might look really dumb if the song is literally against what you're protesting and you're using it as like your fight song or whatever. <laughs> Oh god, it's S Dan. Oh god, it's him. Are you set? Okay, I got you, buddy. I got you. Oh, daddy. Oh god, it's you. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what? hell are you doing here <laughs> can i speak to your manager <laughs> i need to talk to your manager please oh man so how's up buddy how was work oh not too bad what are they doing letting you off early too today bad. um remember i had to go in and work four hours on saturday that's right so they're let they let me make up for it and leave it they let me leave today that's what's up <laughs> It's too bad you couldn't pick so, it to yeah, be like on a like a Friday or something though. Yeah, I know I should have. I should have <laughs> said, can I do this on Friday instead? Right, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So alright, so what time is it then? It's one alright, cool. So I'm gonna be going for another like 45 minutes and then we'll, we'll pass it off to you basically. Oh yeah. No, I see. Yeah, we're building we're just doing some penguin stuff, you know, some penguins. Oh, rock work. I like it. Oh, all the rock work today, man. All and, and I'm taking an idea from your your bold stream last night where you said to have, you know, just a little bit of the backstage building popping up right there. So you can still tell, like, all right, that's still a realistic-ish build with the backstage building up there. Yep. You know that's not easy for me. I know. You, you contained yourself last night. I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Backstages don't usually exist for me. No, you just plop the gate down. I'm like, all right, done. <laughs> oh, you did bring in those shades from. Dude, those is are it so Arn? good. Those are so Arndal? good. Arndal? Yeah, the Brawlies or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I love those. Those are great. Yeah, I made. I I just spun a bunch of them around. I'm gonna recolor them a little bit, but they're put on such a cool little angle. That you can get them to spin around and not be like, you know, touching each other, basically. Kind of like riding just on Yes. Them. Yeah, it's really cool. So, that's a really good find. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. But, yeah, man, I'm hoping to uh, get this one-off zoo done here in the next little bit. And then get back into Thornton Hill Zoo fun. Yes. Have you heard from uh, Eben yet? uh have not so that's that's interesting isn't it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just kind of wondering still what like what is he up to what's 
what's happened. Because we know he's in it. We know he's in the zoo. Yep. Now it's just so, a matter of, what are you doing to my baby? <laughs> yes, what is happening? But we know that he's, <laughs> he's going to take care of it there. He'll take care of it. Hello, Cybris, Heather, Linda, Primal. And all the peeps. All right, that worked out pretty good. That worked out pretty good. The Force Perspective actually looks pretty decent. Heck a Rooney. I think I worried Heather last night. She thought I was going to go full on Animal Kingdom and kind of ruin uh, <laughs> yeah, old but... zoo, but. <laughs> That's not like your builds. We'll at all. get there. Is this making you want to do another realistic kind of build at all? Or are you still like, ah, eh, I did my realistic well, thing? Well, I'm still kind of so excited about what Eben is going to hand back over. Right. I'm, uh,. I'm still just kind of jonesing for more Tsuyana fantasy, you know. I hear like, that. me building realistic was so mentally taxing. It is. <laughs> um, I just don't know if I'm ready for that again just yet. <laughs> no, it is. And that's like why you, I think that's why you see a lot of us quote unquote realistic ish builders or whatever take more breaks than the just outlandish <laughs> ones because it's like we have yes. to basically the correlation yes that, that's exactly right the realistic builders are the ones that are more likely to essentially disappear for you know a month or two and everybody's like Estan what happened to this person why are they and you know it's just like it's so much it's a lot when you yeah. Yeah, when you can't just go all fantasy, whatever pops into your brain. It's, right. When you have was, to have Pine a Pine Creek was tough. When you have to have a reason behind everything, and you know, you can even go to. There's some people who go to the extent of, okay, if my park is sloped like this, then the water is going to go this way, so I have to have a vent here. You know, like there's some yeah. people that get just so into it, it's ridiculous. But also, some of them are like, the you know. Yeah, and some of them are like, there's no way that that one water pumping station could get water all the way out to this lagoon. Right, yep. And then it's like, Jesus, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are nuts. You guys are making my head hurt. But then, you know, the finished product is obviously like, oh, what the heck? <laughs> like, it's not even, we're not even in the same, yep. we're not playing the same game. Yep. Hey, hey Savannah, Savannah, what's up, buddy? Hey, Savannah's back. She just got done with the final. I know, oh. yeah, this is the first time that SDN has ever joined my podcast. It's usually the other way around because this nerd You know, has Drew, to work. it's weird it's weird being at my house at this time of day. Like I'm hearing weird things that I think I need to go check on. And <laughs> like I almost like crapped my pants about a about thirty minutes ago because the the mail guy like dropped a package off at the door and like, you know, knocked on the door and Oh, God. And yeah, just you're like, just like, who's here? Who do I got to kill? I yeah. got my gun. <laughs> it's just weird to be home this time of day on a Wednesday. Just you and, the, uh, you and the puppers, you and the doggos? Yep. Yep, me, Pumpkin, and Houdini. And I heard a loud thud a minute ago, so I do not know what she's into up there. It's but probably Bigfoot or something that's going to hurt It'll be you. okay. It'll, <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's like that's why I stream in the middle of the day, because... Same thing, like, uh, when Michaela's working, she works... So she works two days on, two days off. She does two 12-hour days, and then she's off two days straight. So it's kind of nice, but... So she's gone, like, all day and all night. So I, like, during the day, if I wasn't streaming, I'm just sitting there, like, twiddling my thumbs, like... Uh... This is so chill, though. Like, this is, like, seeing... This is, like, really just low pressure, you know, mid-afternoon. Mm -hmm. It's, like, raining here. It's all cozy. Right. Like when I get home, it's like, you know, I've got Casey upstairs that's kind of wanting to start dinner. Um, you know, it's like it, it's we we're both like trying to wind down from the work day and then all of the United States crowd is home. It's like it's a 
you know, it's a little I know, bit most of most times like kind of like I, pressure in the late evening. I know you get off work at like five, but and then we'll like we'll schedule a take two for like six. So I know you like got to drive home, however far you know you got to do that. And like you said, yeah, kind of get in, you know, take take your uh, coat off or whatever, get kind of settled in. And then it's like, all right, Dustin, hurry, get on the podcast, we got to go. Like it's just like go 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 go. Man, I think these people are going to love if we can pull off that Christmas podcast with oh uh, me, you, Eben, Mike, oh Mass God. Bandit, and John T. <laughs> it's going to be just a... Sh- I think we're literally going to call it because right now with the Take Two podcast channel, we don't have to worry about like monetizing or anything because we're still like, we're not even close to that kind of thing. So we're thinking about literally calling it the Take Two podcast uh end of the year shit show or something like that like i'm not even kidding we might just it is thinking it's, about we're thinking about doing it the, the saturday right after christmas yes yeah, so the 26th so everybody will be yeah everybody will be st- kind of like hopefully back home and like i was telling mast i'm like that's just a lazy stay at home saturday like yeah. all the christmas stuff is over the week everybody's home christmas. yeah yep yeah and i think i think we can just uh I think, it, I think that'd be a good Saturday to do it if the rest of them can kind of pull it off. And we've already started, like in our, we made the group chat last night for the first time and it, it's already started. Like if you saw the group chat, you'll just be like, oh God, I don't even know what's going to happen when we're just all live, like actually chatting to each other. So, <laughs> but yeah, we don't like, they kind of asked like, so what's the plan? I was like, um, for us to get together and yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as far as we planned it out, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nothing too uh, fancy. Just get together and hang out, honestly. Take, yeah, take six so podcasts. Much. Yeah, take six yeah, podcasts. There, there's going to be so much shit talking in that podcast. Well, probably by the the second hour or whatever. Because, yeah, I think that that's also the thing. I think it's going to go a little bit later than normal. Uh, we normally like, like to try and keep it like an hour or something. But with that many guys on there, and I think we're going to be doing a little we've bit of got, Yeah, if we've got them on... We've got to, we can't just contain that to an hour. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be a good time. Yeah, we'll make it sure it's on a Saturday. So it'll be later at night though. So uh, our European friends, Linda and all y'all, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, but that's just uh, the best time for, especially John T and a few others who are still he working. He said it, or... you know, it's, it, yeah, he said it'd be tough for him to join if it's not in the evening just yeah. because of Xander. He's got kiddo um, stuff. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so we may have to do that one like a, 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 a an evening stream probably, but I'd say. The nice thing about it being on, you know, YouTube there is that it'll be it'll take a night to process probably. It seems like that's about as much time as it takes. It takes about yeah. like a night time to process the video. And um, you know, and people like Linda and stuff say they don't she doesn't mind because it like it instantly gives her content for the next morning. Oh, that's a good point. So we, even if she can't catch it live, as soon as she gets up, it's usually like almost ready to go. Right, that's a so good point. So you can just listen to it back, you know. Man, speaking of take two, like, um, what a, what a fun pod, what a great podcast last night with Lion Rider. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun, dude. We're not we've we've not like swung and missed on any of these. No, like, no. I keep getting messages like simply Savannah. People message me like, oh, she's so cool. I'd never, you know, I'd never caught her channel before this, and you know, um, Lion Rider. People messaging me about the Beluga Whale and. Um, of course, Mike, everybody loved that. John T, Paul. I mean, it was that, like, we are definitely, that's a that's a cool series. I think people really look forward to our little take well, two deal. The interviews now? Yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, I'm really glad that we're, I was telling everyone else, I've been trying to start to uh, watch, like, really big podcasts to kind of get my interviews uh better you know like I, I know that we just start like it was so random for us to decide to start interviewing people it's not like either of us come like from a like a media background or like an interviewing background at all it's just like let's just bring on some cool people that we like to talk to and uh see, see what's going on i guess yeah um, i don't even remember what started it first was it remembered we brought jaunty on for a yeah, take and that two, wasn't like, like officially, six months ago it wasn't like the official something? start of it but like yeah we brought him on and then kind of just like I think I just messaged you randomly. Was like, what if we just did that, but with yeah, because we're everybody. like that. Yeah, we're like that was cool to have that third person dynamic. Right. Yep. So yeah, Drew. Like, I mean, you know, really, unless there's like breaking news, 
I don't see us doing a podcast without a third person, like a guest yeah, now, was, you know, because just thinking people that like it so much. Right. Yeah. Now I, was... I can see me, I can see you and I jumping on, like if it's, if it's quick breaking, like Planet Zoo news and stuff like that, we can, yep. you know, I can see that, but just like a, a regular one, we kind of, uh, that's just too cool to leave a, to leave a guest out to get that perspective. Right. No, I think we've kind of molded and evolved and that happens with all YouTube channels. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough room for entrance. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see. Um, but you know, they, they kind of evolve over time. I think we've really hit the niche of what we are uh, good at. And like SDN said, we'll still have, no, I'm not going to have enough room. Uh, we'll still totally have, uh, just him and I do podcasts whenever there's like, you know, a game release or like a DLC comes out, um, anything like that there. But yeah, for the most part, I think we're going to kind of focus on, uh, doing the interviews and stuff there. Yep. There we go. I can't talk and chew bubblegum at the same time. There we go. Uh, me neither. Everybody in my chat last night, they're like a concentration S Dan. Yep. I because sometimes <laughs> you just have to... <laughs> You just gotta stop for a minute and focus. I told him that. <laughs> I told him that uh, today too. It's like y'all can basically choose. You can either choose that we um, do like interactive content with everyone and like talk to chat and stuff, or we can build <laughs> because it's kind of they're not yeah. mutually exclusive, unfortunately. Well, you know, I think I've got a I've got a good little system going right now where my chit chat is really heavy at the beginning. And then we kind of get down to business. So I have a slow period where I don't, I mean, I still try to, you know, I still look at the chat, but we kind of get down to business in the middle and everybody kind of just chats amongst themselves. Yeah. And then at the end, I jump back in and start catching up with everybody. And that, I mean, cause you guys have to remember, I like, I just started streaming not even a month ago. You're newbie still. Like it, it's, it's not even been a month. Right. Um, yep. so I'm still kind of trying to learn the ins and outs and, you know, but it's, um, it, I can't thank Drew enough because it has brought a whole new dynamic, um, to the channel. As a matter of fact, Drew, like my, if I go to tell you my, my watch time right now is two and a half thousand more hours than usual because of the streaming and everything absolutely because of the streaming yeah absolutely. the the uh, the average view duration is up 77 percent yep well and, and that... since we've been since we've been streaming this month uh 254 new subs yeah oh that's what i was just gonna bring up yeah the subs too and that's that's what we keep saying like it just that's what people obviously are, are liking and subbing because of so that and then the aquatic pack was perfect like we got into streaming like you got comfortable with streaming at the perfect time for aquatic pack to come out and you know stream uh, yeah that and everything yeah as soon as aquatic pack come out then i was like you know the audio was getting better the you know i i, I even have that intro you know drew i was gonna tell you kind of like you do um, that 10 minute starter window really like mentally helps me get ready 100%. to start the stream instead of just like cold starting like I was. Right. And you know, Heather's always really good about jumping on early and kind of chatting with me and like making it not so awkward. But that 10 minute window you give yourself with that kind of like warm up clip. It totally changed how I approach the and not only the just for like the creator now, which it's per like you say it's perfect for as creators. You can kind of you know click that on and then go get a drink, maybe like hang out with the dog for just like a minute or two. Yeah, just go to the bathroom right, real just quick. Relax, just relax, know you have ten minute buffer zone, and then um, it's also nice for the community as well to kind of trickle in. Like I, I know that I can you know the stream starts at eleven. That's true. But I start my stream at ten fifty to kind of give people, you know, that ten minute leeway to kind of uh, get in on time and stuff like that. So right. um, yeah, it's it's a good oh, thing. Savannah said we'll have to we'll have we, Savannah said I, I will be bugging you both for help in the next yes. few weeks. We good, will have good. we'll have to jump on a stream with her because it's I mean, like I said too, Drew, you just don't understand how when when there's somebody streaming with you while oh, you're building yeah, sure. and like it, it kind of helps with the dead silent moments because you know like i could be building and savannah could be reading the chat or 
interacting with people while I'm building. It just, it kind of like, it can, it can help take the pressure off a little bit. You it know? does. Yeah. And it helps you make, uh, just be more comfortable overall, uh, for sure. For yeah. sure. And yeah, no, um, I remember I was talking to Savannah a bit and she's wanting to get into the streaming world. She just had to, I think for Christmas, uh, she's getting some uh, stuff that's going to help her uh, kind of hit the ground running there for the most part. So yeah, we'll get yeah. her set up with all the the fun audio stuff, the webcam or, you know, whatever. It's all that fun stuff. We'll get her going. And yeah, y'all will have another nerd added to your watch library there. Not just SDN and myself. We'll, we're going to grow this community. I tell you what, we're going to grow this little streaming thing so that all the, all the content creators are streaming by the end of it. I know. I, I just wish I'd have, you know, that's what we need to do. I wish I had somebody that told me, um, you know, dude, the people, you know, they love the videos, but you really need to try to live stream. Like if I would have started live streaming a year ago, shoot, you imagine I'd be, the growth that you, and not just, yeah, imagine. and it's like, this is kind of YouTube talk here, but there's different kinds of growth. There's growth where, and I'm going to use you for example, Estan, because you have a few videos that are like this, but like your um, Disney videos or universal videos that got like a 2 million subscriber pop, which is, or a 2 million view pop on a video, which you got a bunch of subs mm -hmm. from that. And that's awesome. I'm not uh, taking away from that at all. But what a great way to grow on YouTube is to get subs that actually like are going to come back and like watch and be part of a community. And it's, um, it's like easier to do that through streaming, um, I think rather than kind of doing the fluctuation waves of videos on YouTube kind of thing. Like, oh, I got a, yeah. I got a hit. Like, I got 50,000 views and, you know, uh, 300 new subscribers out of that. Like, that's cool, but how many of those subscribers are ever going to come back and watch you again? Like, I'd rather have... Right. And, the, you know, the, the one thing that I take from the Disney video that got the 2 million views and the Universal video that got 2 million is... It, 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 the, the one thing about that many subs is it helps like almost legitimize the channel to new people that are going to stick around because you know you look at a channel and you come upon it and you're like oh 15,000 people follow this guy even if it's not really that many it's in like gaming companies too if you're trying to reach out to them for keys the first thing they're going to do is they're going to go look and see how many views you have mm -hmm. and how many subs does this guy have and you know me getting those unorganic disney views really just it's almost like a a false front that has helped me in the long run because the gaming companies look and they're like oh okay this guy's got 15,000 view or subscribers and he's putting out gaming videos right. they don't know that most of those 15,000 are not watching gaming videos so you see what i mean it's like a it's like a give and take it's 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 a weird way that 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 YouTube a picks though. I mean, I would I would love a two million view Planet Zoo video over like a, a Disney video, but it's just the algorithm took it and ran with it. Yeah, you can't even control it. like yeah. Whenever we get like a video that goes, you know. Uh... Uh, viral or whatever it's not like we click a button and it says okay this one it's usually the video that you're like i had no intention of this lousy ass production video to go and be in front of two million people's eyes or whatever yeah and it and it doesn't do it overnight either that's why you don't notice it you go on and put do more videos then all of a sudden you'll be looking and you'll like whoa this age of empires videos up to ten thousand views and then, you know, like a week later, it's 17,000, then 30,000. Like, it's not like you come back downstairs the next day and I'm like, oh my God, that Disney video has 700,000 views. Right. That's not really how it works for us. It's, um, it was like a slow roll. And then all of a sudden, once you notice that it's taken off, it's just like you're, it's like you're just holding on to a tornado at that point. It, it's just, so here we go. it blows up. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened with Disney. That You know, to an extent, Drew, that's what happened with that Paralives video, right. too. I just noticed like a week or two later that it was up to 15,000 views. And I was like, damn, is nobody else making any Paralives videos right now? For a while. And no, then lo and behold, does. now it's 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 like up to like three. Like if you if you search for Paralives, my videos like in the top eight. So anybody out there that's because, you know, I'll test it sometimes just on a work computer or, you know, a, a computer that doesn't have any of my stuff on it. And sure enough, it's right there. And that's why it's like it's gotten up to almost 300,000 views now. 
It's just one of the weird ones the Electronica algorithm just too, ran like, with. I have a video of some uh, rhinos on a third channel that has done that. 115,000 views over time and drawn 350 subs to a channel I don't actually post to. Yep. It's, <laughs> yeah, there you go. I had never, you it's never like, play it for like just YouTube. Like, Why won't you do that on my main channel? Yeah, like, right. Like, can I have that for, yeah, like my main videos that I always post? No? Okay. 300 people? Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me send this video out to 2.8 million people <laughs> and that's all we need a lot of times is i feel like you just need it to you just need one to get in front of people's eyes is all yeah because it's usually it, it's it usually is one of the blow up videos it's you know um it just it just happens like that the the organic growth is awesome but the organically you're talking on the heavyweight side maybe 200 250 subs a month um but you're just you're not going to get that three four thousand sub growth in one month without some algorithm mischief that all of a sudden decided to pick you so now savannah kind of because savannah said my first aquatic build took off like that came out of nowhere and caught me off guard kind of though but you and i were talking the night before and you were going to upload if i remember right you were going to do a video that was like everyone else's video where it was a piece you know a piece by piece looking at all the things for the aquatic pack and remember you and i came up with a strategy savannah it was like why don't you not do that because again everyone and their mother is going to do it and what happened everyone and their mother released a video going over the things and it was like you and Zekin. You and Zekin both came out with like the only habitat build videos while everyone else had piece by piece uh, looking over videos and then it took off. And I told you that was gonna happen. It happens every time. All the big creators yep. always make um look the at all the same, pieces. Yep. They the make same the, thing. They are a broken And you record. notice the the breakout videos are the ones that take that put a different spin on it. Yep. I'm gonna go let me go I'm gonna go look at Savannah's channel real quick. Yeah, where does that video up to now? Savannah's it up to like 15 20 000 views i know zekins was up to like twenty thousand views or something see. like that which is awesome see now savannah is knocking on the door of four thousand subscribers yeah, probably so will so be cool. over that by christmas yeah her gray seal habitat right now to me it's over twenty one thousand. see yeah you're gonna totally be over 4k see she beat me she beat me to 4k that's awesome <laughs> Yep, 21,000. Let me see what Savannah's. Okay, her most popular River Rock Zoo, 31,000. So the second most popular video ever on her channel was released seven days ago. Right. And that's just, that's so tight. Because like, there's always, yeah, here, that was here we perfect. go, West Dan. You ready for this argument? The, the, it's all luck on YouTube argument. No, it was not for her. She put in the work, she made a great ass build. She did the timing perfectly uh, because she knew the hype was there. No, that was not luck. That was Savannah putting the work in. And yep, getting that the... was the t that was the timing and the foresight and knowing that she needed to hit this and even be on this. Reaching out to me spin. was part of the work too. Like you know, I have insight. Estan has insight. I mean, it just is what it is. You know, reaching out to to me was also you know putting in the work. So it is possible, my friends. It is possible. You just gotta yep. put the work in. So, a thousand subs in December alone. Yeah. Yes. That's what's up. That the aquatic pack did that for my. Yeah. No. The the aquatic pack really helped out everyone. If you if you got the key early and you took advantage of your time early in it and got videos ready and stuff like that, you definitely saw an update. Yeah. Time. You. Yeah. Well, yeah. We like Drew and I. We rode the shit out of the uh, pa uh, the uh, the aquatic pack uh, wave. Yep. This is one that we definitely did not let. We didn't let it go to waste, did we, Drew? Like, no, no, no. you know how sometimes you and I get a little discouraged. I mean either about the animals or the like the peace count or you know sometimes we just we we go into it a little lackluster i think this time we both kind of hyped each other up and we just said we're gonna make this happen we're gonna stream we're gonna put out videos as we're streaming um 
and it just we just rolled with it this time we well, we made so much out of these last seven days and we were actually excited for the pack <laughs> like it turns that's out true when you're too. actually that, excited that, for the that game, made a difference yeah you actually look uh, what, look, what, look what happened yeah right exactly yep yeah. no and again i i take away my personal like win is just the fact that apparently we had more people hanging out with us during an official frontier stream so i'll take that as my official win or whatever so yep i saw that in your comments some dude said that drew was like there were more people watching drew's live stream than the frontier jwe switch kind of live stream thing right so i'll take so that, that as my cool. personal my personal win there for the <laughs> pack <laughs> i'm gonna steal a Seabris idea right here actually because Seabris uploaded an awesome otter habitat on my discord this morning i'm sure other places as well but um actually not this wood piece but yeah i wanted to angle the roof a little bit uh, which is a really good interior idea where's the I'll show you what i mean here do, 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 there we go so yeah i saw they took a roof piece like this and just kind of angle it like that and then yeah like that and then fill it in and it just gives a little bit of a dimension to your roof so it's not just all flat for the yeah for the top of it give it some angles angles are good everyone yeah that's what i'm kind of looking for even with even with the bold uh with bold's lion habitat just always kind of you know just pan back what can i add what can i use from a from a build a previous build um what technique what, what did i you know did i add where did i add those rocks from in suyana can i add them here does it look right here it's yeah it's always fun to kind of just step back a minute and what can i add to this yep exactly. <laughs> you know? how can i make this mo better this needs to be mo better do it over here too and also looking at when you're doing a like an interior build or anything like that looking at like what the time period that it was built in like if it was like the 70s look like go and look up a bunch of um like 70s type architecture in the area of the zoo that you're building and kind of thing mm -hmm. then you get some really fun things going all right there we go still live i just went through a bunch of stores and everything yeah yeah we're live for another uh about 18 minutes there and i'm gonna hand you nerds off to mr s dan wolf here you guys are going to keep building on that uh, that lion habitat, right? Yep, that is the plan. I'm probably going to get a lot done today. Um, I've got to go finish a little bit of Christmas shopping tonight for people that are like some from people from my work. Um, so that's why today ended up working out perfect. I'm going to get this stream together. Um, stream this for a couple hours and Casey will probably get home like at 5 30 ish um, so I don't know how long I don't know if I'll stream that whole time but today is just going to this is just kind of time timed time out, perfect, out of the park I think. Kind of thing. yeah or because you know remember I even told this I told you and Lion Rider before I knew this I'm like ah oh, guys I can't stream on Wednesday I won't I won't be home but lo and behold, I, I didn't know I was going to be home just really early. So this will be right. kind of cool to get in here. And I should get a lot done on her lion habitat today. I don't know if I'll finish it. I could possibly finish it. But um, definitely we oh, will get towards the she end. She told you you could take your time and two days into it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys know me. I just, I just, I don't play around. I, like, I, I think I, you I did that with uh, the Rudy build too, didn't you? Where you only had it for like like a few days and then you were all finished up with that restaurant that you built for his uh park yeah rudy's like i'm not even ready to film this yet <laughs> <laughs> too bad here you go done <laughs> i just it it does not take me long heck yeah hey jake what's up buddy i just hate making people wait <laughs> you know i'm like eh, sure. i just want to i just want to get this back to them i don't want to i don't want yeah, right. to <laughs> keep their park But now me personally, I'm the opposite. Like with with even taking my park, I, I like I don't want to bug him at all. Like I, I I've I've told him like a hundred times. I'm like, dude, we will find something to do. We will find something to play. 
do not feel like you have to hurry up and get me the right, zoo back. Right. You just do what you need to do. Don't feel rushed. Just do, yeah, right. Do it full. Do it 100%. Whatever you got to do. Yep, I can understand that. Sometimes it's probably bad of me, though, though it's as quick as I do it, because people are probably thinking, like, dude, there's no way he come up with something good in two <laughs> days. Like, you're already ready to hand it back right, to like, me. Oh, God, what is this shit show I'm about to open? And then lo and behold, like, <laughs> nope. Nope, you did it pretty good there. Oh, you know what we'll use? Speaking of Savannah being in chat there, her penguin stuff. She's Savannah is so good at making the useful items like the signs and everything they're just they're so mm -hmm. nice to just pop around and i'm so bad at like interiors and signs and stuff in zoos i so wish savannah i wish savannah would do me like some custom sienna signs hey. i am so horrible at signs i am too and it's like zoos are just so full of signs everywhere and i like i'm so bad that's at why i need billboards I, I could i could Ugh. create fake i could create digital signs right. like a champ if they just gave me billboards. I know, but yeah, this, I think a lot of it, yeah, is, is kind of that, like if I love the ricey fonts and uh, the in-game fonts, but having to sit there and like spell it out the whole time, like piece by piece, you just kind of like, ugh. Yeah, it just, it's kind of daunting, isn't it? You're just kind of like, you just go without the sign because you're like, I don't feel like sitting here and yeah. like pecking these things in here. But then it's like at the reverse of it, you see a build that has like signs everywhere and it's done really creatively and stuff. And you're like, oh yes. man, that is what I'm totally missing for my build right now. <laughs> yeah. I... Ricey is the master of font, of our font universe. Did you see that she's already uh, starting up a new font? yesterday <laughs> no yeah she posted on bro nation discord it was like uh and people started making fun they're like frontier here you know uh, frontier talking to the community like here everyone here's some new fonts for you they're really small and thin and then it's like ricey comes along and she just laughs like <laughs> you call that small ricey laughs in font <laughs> right laughs in font yeah <laughs> penguins go burr yes they do they go burr penguin burr. Noop, noop. Oh, Jake and Mr. Domez. Yeah. Have popped in for a little bit. It's basically just the whole crew there. But, um, but yeah, no, I, again, I, I know I mentioned it earlier, but I had a really good time with, uh, Nicholas Lionrider last night, picking his brain and everything. And we could have kept the, we could have kept the podcast going like another half hour. I feel like we, mm -hmm. uh, we ended and we just kind of kept talking. Yeah. When we got off the stream, we just kind of kept chatting with him and you know, that, that, that kind of stunk though, because like once we got off stream, like it was like, we really just kind of got even up. more comfortable with him. You know, it I was kind of. That's happened a few times too, and that's why like we try and say we're gonna do an hour, but I kind of feel like, you know, it's like I think we should say a minimum of an hour, and then right. anything over that is gravy. Because again, like there's some podcasts that I watch that go like three or four hours, and I find myself like actually watching the whole thing. I'm just like, oh dang, I didn't even realize it's been three hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. that's how I'm like just with our hours. Sometimes I'll look up and it'll be like six forty eight. And I'll be like, holy shit, we only yeah, have 10 we're, minutes left? Where'd the time go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that we'll do it kind of more like that in the future. Like if it's, we'll say an hour is the minimum to kind of hang out and at least pick people's brains for. And if they want to go after that, sure, that's totally understandable. Or if it's like the conversation just isn't, you know, we're, we've already said what we wanted to say, cool. But if not, like, shoot, man, let's just, we'll just go for it. <laughs> we may as well until we're done talking. That'd be cool. Y'all y'all would sit there and listen to us jab on for a few hours. Well, if y'all are going to listen. If Lion Rider's right next DLC will be coming with custom billboards, that'd be pretty cool. Well, I think I think he was saying not even DLC. I think he was saying, like, the next free update. Because um, he brought up a good point of... Um, um, yeah, we're going to probably have a free update coming out here pretty quick. Yeah, um, and I, I don't... I don't... I wouldn't see them, like, locking billboards oh God, behind dude, a dlc yeah i think that would be like terrible terrible on them so hopefully when billboards come it's like a free deal yeah. no you know? i'm thinking about it more there's no way there's literally zero way they could ha lock that behind a billboard or uh, behind a dlc that would be crazy <laughs> that would be 
crazy. Actually, let's do this a few more times. Shout out to Creative Games for this blueprint here. Digital billboard. I was telling, uh, I think I was telling Savannah the other day, she was like, man, you get some like really cool looking stuff off of the workshop. I was like, I've ever since I've started to do the community showcase streams every Saturday, I just get to like see all this free, you know, are you just, I'm out searching for uh, people's content now and you just stumble across some amazing looking stuff there. Yep. Let's see here. How about lights? Probably want to have lights. But yeah, so hopefully we get the next Planet Zoo DLC, or a DLC, shoot, the next update. Not too long, it'd be nice to get some, yeah, like Nicholas Rider was saying, maybe some free stuff in that update that they've been working on for a little bit. Silver Fox and I are just wanting sharks. If they give us sharks, <laughs> we're good. Your gravy, yeah. I th was it was it Lion Rider that said probably don't hold your breath for that though or what was he saying about that? I remember? think so overall it seems that the consensus is smaller fish like clownfish and like bass and stuff like that. Yeah, don't hold your uh, breath for those. But yeah. maybe um bigger fish like you're saying like sharks and whales and stuff. But then that goes back to my thing which is i don't know if they're gonna mess with those kind of animals again because of like how they treated the polar bear situation and stuff like that i just don't know if they would because there's such a whatever you want to say around holding whales and dolphins and all that kind of fun stuff so yeah i don't know i want to say yeah because i mean it, they're like perfect to do it now but with the aquatic stuff but yeah i don't know oh shoot i hit right click instead All right, that looks pretty nice. Got a little interior here, some lighting. Um, how about some fake rocks in here just to kind of cap it off? Hey, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about some fake rocks. Gotta have some fake rocks, man. I haven't put down a fake rock in at least 10 minutes. I'm going through withdrawals. <laughs> I gotta have my fix. Are you gonna be able to not build a waterfall in this lion habitat? I'm gonna hold off. You I'm gonna so. hold off. <laughs> you gotta have to, right? Yeah. It's a lot of money for a for a water. What were we saying yesterday? The 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 hundred billion dollar waterfall expansion of Siana or whatever that you have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be cheap. All right, I think I am about out of inspiration here. Uh, really enjoy listening to the latest uh, Take Two podcast this morning. Uh, entertaining and informative at the same time. Keep them coming. Yes, thank you, Mr. Delmez. Appreciate the feedback. We're always... Um, it does seem like everyone pretty much had the same consensus Consensus uh, there that, uh, yeah, very informative, learned some stuff, and still entertaining. So we'll try yeah. and keep doing that. We'll definitely try and keep doing those kinds. Linda says, I'm against whales in captivity in real life, but want them in game. However, never forget Frontier is Europe based and we have strict rules on dolphins and whales here. Right. You know, that's a good point. And they go to a lot of uh, Frontier goes to a lot of links to um, m like it try to it, trying to emulate real places. And, uh -huh. you know, they, they do a lot of research at real zoos and they've, you know, they've sent them like all over, they've sent them all over the world to study um you know zoo habitats and all that stuff so yeah that's a um it's a tough one i don't know if we will ever see you know and yeah that's just the thing like and... again we have polar bears in the game which are also like i've seen people bring up the argument like well if they're not if you don't think they're gonna do dolphins and whales because of that then why do we have polar bears in game and like i understand that argument but i think they have polar bears in the game to kind of talk about the work that zoos do with like the declining polar bear population i guess but i don't think you have like so much of that for like straight on zoos with like dolphins and stuff i don't i think it's more like wildlife preservations or straight up like marine biologists who are not in zoos taking care of like dolphins and whales and stuff so that's why i don't think that you would see it because it's not really a zoo thing for them to take care of it nowadays it's more so mm -hmm. again just like 
actual reservations and stuff, if that makes sense. I still just want manatees. Can't know, they give me manatees? <laughs> they would be so like just majestic. Just picture like building like a uh, like a Florida Everglades type uh, habitat or something like that. Yep. A little manatee swimming underneath. But uh, yeah, Drew, I'll get off here and let you finish up with your people. And I'm probably gonna start my. I'll probably start my 10 minute countdown right at three uh, here, or right a little bit after three. I'm gonna Perfect. go upstairs and get a drink and make sure Pumpkin has not murdered Houdini. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna jump back on and start working on some lion mischief. Heck yeah, dude! Sounds good, man. We'll uh, we'll all come over and raid you when you get going there, then. All right, guys. I'll talk to you all in just a little bit. All right. See you, buddy. Thanks. See you. Oh, good. He's finally off. Man, I never thought he'd never thought he'd leave. Jeez. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting hungry. A big shout out to S Dan there, and yeah, you bet your butts we're gonna go hang out with him. Oops. After this. So if you are not ready for the Planet Zoo content to be over, or just the content in general. Don't worry. We're gonna go hang out with us, Dan. After this, we're gonna go. Hey, what? I'm not. I was talking about the other guy that looked like your face. <laughs> Dang it! No one told me you could still hear. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna wrap up here for the day, and then yeah, we'll we'll wrap up right at three when he starts his countdown there. So Heather or anyone else that is hanging out, do let me know if you could when he starts his countdown. And I will start to wrap up my stream then. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. But in the meantime, we'll add blue rocks. Because blue rocks are everything now, aren't they? That is the new thing. If you don't add blue rocks to your um, <laughs> to your build, your aquatic build, are you really doing aquatic build? That's what the consensus is now. And it, they just look so much better. It looks a lot better with the, uh, the blue rocks underneath of it. If I do say so myself there. Look at this, though. We did a little bit. Uh, uh oh, escapee! Someone escaped. I hear. I heard it. Um, we'll also actually put them over here too, because I want to kind of force the penguins to come out a little bit. So we're gonna put some blue rocks right up against here and kind of contain where they uh, swim a little bit. Do 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 do. Your dog just ate your food. What a bad boy. Three is two for me? Yes, yes. So you'll be able to watch him for an hour and then have to go to your um, appointment. Right. But what a bad dog. Is it saying that it, it is a Santa Penguin escape? What? What? You think they escaped? Where are they at? And how'd they escape? Who is it? Timothy! No. No, Tim. Bad Timothy. Oh my gosh, look at all of them, though. <laughs> There's so many of them, it feels like. Uh, Alright, keep doing this here. Oof, I'm ready for some lunch. I didn't realize how hungry I was. You say noisy. Oh, I didn't turn down the game sound. I bet it is noisy. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. I'll turn down the game sound a little bit here. And we can turn the music back up. There we go. <laughs> I didn't realize that I just let the game sound way up for when SDN was on here. Whoopsies. Whoopsie doopsies. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, Domez, did you happen to watch Shit's Creek yesterday uh, at all to give an opinion? I'm curious what you think. Uh, what do we, we 
plaster for the bottom. Not yet? Okay. All right. So by Saturday. <laughs> you have until Saturday. done started his stream yet by chance Thank you, Silver Fox. I'm, I'll assume that y'all will just boot me when he does. Just boot me when he does. Um, in the meantime, we'll keep going with the penguins. We gotta get them some. Yeah, let's get some like jetties out here. What if they can? Uh, or not jetties? The uh, little these things. Can y'all get out? What's what's your yeah. Oh, you can escape right here. Not really, though. It's a fake escape. It's a fake escape. Yeah, there it is. Alright, now they should be able to. Nice, nice, nice. By Friday? Do it by Friday. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. We need the fishies. I didn't finish the, oh, I didn't finish the flooring. Just, just saw that. He's on! Okay, we're gonna finish this flooring and then we're gonna go and raid him! We're gonna do a classic raid. So, hey Silver Fox, do me a favor, buddy. This will be mod status. If you can get this going, which is you will you'll be able to, it's not hard. Uh get the link to S Dan's stream, Silver Fox, and start pasting it in the chat for me, buddy. Do that for me, please. We're all going to go head over and hang out with us, Dan. For some more Planet Zoo fun. I know, Drew Raid. I know, I wish we could do it like we did on Twitch. It'd be so much easier. So, but cool, cool, cool. There's uh, there's what we got done today, though. We got actually a lot done. Look at that. We actually uh, got a lot done. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up for the day, my friends. Had a fantastic time there. Hanging out with y'all. Please don't mind the jankiness here. <laughs> Please don't mind the jankiness here, but um, I want to start to, uh, I'm going to get a more formal um, kind of scroll at the end of the text here because <laughs> um, uh, things are, because raids are, I think, I know, I know, I need to go get his thing. We're going to do a fake raid. This is how we used to do raids. This is, this is the real way to do raids or how we used to do them back in the day. That's how we used to do them back in the day. But, um, but yeah, hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. Here is the link to S Dan's stream there. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. We're all going to go at the same time. But, yeah, there will be a more formal uh, thing here for the builders and CEOs there. Uh, we'll do it more formal than just what we have now because it looks not the greatest, but, you know, it is what it is. So, um, but, yeah, next stream is on Saturday. This coming Saturday, the... 19th. 19th and 20th are the next stream days. So, hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. And let's go raid Estian. Click on the link and say something like Drew Raid. Yeah, do that. Say Drew Raid when you go over there. Rawr! Stuff like that. Cool. So, all right. I'll see you all over on Estian's. Have a good day.